podcast, podcast. Read all about it. When it comes to podcasting, we are number one. All these podcasts ready. The big stuff ready. The internet up and we're it up. Welcome to the Friday, 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 Friday,
Listen, we need to do a serious mic check. We need to do a serious visual check. Looking like we're looking, like we looking all right. Yeah, we already prayed. Yeah, we prayed. So we thank we God. We had to let we, you guys know that this is <laughs> it's a miracle live. This going on is right a now. miracle live. Yeah, miracle hey, live. <laughs> It's a miracle live. <clears throat> Kalonti Siratan, good night to you. Hi, Heather, Luan, Debbie. What'd she say? Just the show start when JD dropped them files. Just <laughs> thank yeah. you, Karen. Karen says, looking good and sounding super. So this. Well, boy. A Jackson Bang, 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 bang. Let me tell you something. Bang. Should we get into why is this America Live real no, quick? No. Just say that, just keep it as it's America Thank Live. Thank you, sir. You're going, right. check. Right. Yeah, it's America I like Live. It. I'm going to be staying with us. Loud and clear. God is looking so good. Good. We want to give God all the honor, all, all the, the glory, glory, and all, all the, the praise. praise for this America Live this evening. And Father, we just pray that it goes, you know, just like this. Thank you, Alicia. For the rest of the evening shout right. out to vince i want to say thank you to vince crossroad promotions hey, crossroads hey what's up <laughs> let me start the thing now let me start the show welcome inside another edition of jd's vlog what's up my name is jd my name is nisa and this is the fry bake and lime show every single seven every single saturday 7 30 p.m we are here and nisa was on time i have to give her that she's doing fry bake tonight you, you know what I'm, shout I'm, out to I'm you i'm hoping i can get the fry bake done um I thought you would have been super late. You, you, you normally do six fry bake, but hey, tonight you attempted and you did a little bit more. All right, yeah. shout out to that. Mm. Um, you look beautiful. Thank you, got you babe. Yours on time, you know. Mm -hmm. Normally, guys, if you're new to the podcast, I would say we are here early <laughs> unless Nisa is inside fixing a wig or changing her outfit 10 million times. Get to see you, legal! We will be Drop here early. Get but she was on time so everything just running smooth and yeah. i'm so grateful you're not late we prayed and let's just we'll keep plugging that mm -hmm. as much as we have to yeah 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 all right so let me get into the business we have a special guest coming in of course you know who it is we'll let you know in a little bit and i'll let you know the sponsors for this afternoon but if you're watching our live for the first time and you want to you want to be a blessing and you want to give there are a couple ways you can give on this live giving number one is just like just like all right and given number two just share it we ask for shares normally we have hidden in the comment section and some other eyes yes to let us know how time. many shares we have <laughs> all right and uh, the third way is if you're a silent watcher meaning if you're watching outside just come in and say hey guys good night first time something like that all right mm -hmm. so the other way is like this um of course this page is not a monetized page via facebook because we in trinidad and tobago and we can't get monetization through our views mm -hmm. and that's all right god is good but if you say, JD, we out here in New York and we know what Cash App does, feel free to bless us up and say, hey, hold that, Cash App, because we love your show. If Cash App is not your thing, PayPal, bam. Say, JD, that's the PayPal. You could, um, you know, watch back later and pause. This live is also, of course, sponsored by this first hour um, EBA Music Festival happening Saturday, the 4th of 11, 2024. Naprima Bowl, Amphitheatre, San Fernando. If you're coming in the country, if you're from, you know, you're visiting home and you want some good, clean, cultural, trained Begonian music, Iba Festival is not to miss, all right? Nisa is going to be there. Jaranis is going to be there and they're representing the, they're representing the kingdom, I could say that. Yeah. All right? Farmer Nappy is going to be there. Who else you see in there? Naomi Senna, Darren Shepard, Stephanie Joseph, Collis Duranti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. This hour is also sponsored by our good friends over there at Wedding. L. L. Edwin. Edwin. Go ahead. L. Edwin Caribbean. So uh, they have wedding and special events, and their exposition 2024 is happening this 
What month is it again? Because I can't see. It's uh, Saturday, the 27th of April. All right, and it's also happening Sunday, the twenty eighth of April, and two that's days. McCoy's two years super, and it's only a hundred dollars only. That is insane. Anybody you know who getting married, mm -hmm. if you getting married yourself, anybody married in, um, married in, that's a thing. Bang bang. If you're getting married, bang. or you're married in, or you have family, hey, Abigail. <laughs> you need to check out this wedding and special wedding and special events. All right, we have Lisa. She's supposed to be coming through. And we're going to be touching base with her. She will tell you more about that. All right? Of I course. I wanna, um, let me just big up my friend, JL, who would have given me this amazing. I don't know if you can see how. It, it looks like a stopwatch. Uh, like a pocket watch from a long time. What is it? It's a mirror. It's so cool. I don't know if you could see how cool it is. Anyway, big up JL. Well, nice only for women, of course. <laughs> of course you know what I mean? <laughs> So it's Friday Bacon and of course, this is Hi. Little Caesars Hi. always Hi. sponsoring Hi. the two hours of Friday Bacon Lime and they are mm. the title sponsor for Friday Bacon Lime podcast for the whole of last year and from since January to now. We want to say a special thank you to Little Caesars. Love them back. As a matter of fact, let me let you know what's going on with Little Caesars. Let me just jump across here real quick. I know they have a two-in-one special going on. All right. Let me jump here first. Yes. Right, so here we're going on. They have they have the two I forget to put the picture up. Sorry, Sue. So they're introducing the ultimate duo. They have, you know, of course, you know, the deep, deep dish pizza. And they have the Italian cheese mm. pizza. It is absolutely delicious. If you don't believe me, go check it out yourself. As a matter of fact, go check it out yourself. All right, and they have the two in one special going on right now. So thank you, thank you to Little Caesars. Legal! Drop your get, drop your get. Drop right. Your so, how was your day today, Nisa? Man, we up long, long time, and I real, real find the weekend too short. Yeah, I think. Jeez. I don't know. I feel like I could stay home every Monday. Oh my gosh! But I'm good, you know. I'm good. I'm excited. I'm so grateful for life, like all you wouldn't even know. To the people that are like me, 40, 40 years and over, well, 43, mm -hmm. the older you get, you really start to understand how precious life is. Right. So I'm just grateful to be breathing. Yeah, Real breathing tough. in and breathing out, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we've been doing a lot. Um, hey, hey, Roger. Roger says Jamaica Queen's locked on. Hey, what's up, Good Raj? to have you, Roger. What's Roger. up, Raj? What's up, Raj? Of course, our special guest for the, this evening is... We've been advertising it whole week. He even shared it on his platform, which is super certified. Oh, he yeah, he did. I missed that, boy. Certified Samson is going to be with us. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what to expect. I mean... In person, he's such a cool dude. Super cool. <laughs> like, he real normal. Listen. But now with everything happening, I don't know what to expect. I hope he doesn't come in and knock over. Mother. No, I told him. I told him. Who come in? Who, he come in as certified Samson or he come in as Ezekiel? We don't, we don't, I, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't know. But I, I hope, don't know if I he, just, I just hope the person is coming and not the characters. Cause yeah, because we have nice things around here and, you know. Uh oh I we don't, uh, yeah. So I put in I put in a special request, but we don't know. All right. You understand? So yeah. I, I'm hoping that he leaves his brother home. I've been saying that whole week. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't think the boy does listen to anybody clearly. You know what I mean? So You know, you know what is interesting about this whole certified Samson and the Ezekiel phenomenon? Mm -hmm. That so many conversations are coming out of it. Like people are sharing stuff. Like Ezekiel has like he's a real child and they are giving advice on how to, how to treat with children that, that may be like Ezekiel. It's weird. I think people actually think that he is a literal... No, JD, nobody thinks that. Yo. <laughs> you getting tapping these Hi, people Camille. on the internet. No, no, no. Somebody say washy, washy. Nobody thinks it's no. a real person. Probably little children do. It, ha it have a lady. That message me and say, JD, uh, <laughs> an elderly hey. lady, an elderly lady, right? Yeah. She messaged and she said, JD, remember, Oli, if Nisa and you and Nisa on the microphone, Oli, mm. have to make sure that Oli have somebody watching the boy, you know. She joking, man. Oli, stop that. She not joking. <laughs> hey, I did buy some paper plates. She's not joking. 
I think she was so. I laugh and I say, Nana, mm. now we tell him don't come. And she said, Oh, because you know Nisa might be able to. Kemba. Or you will be able to hold him while all you have to many podcasts. Kemba says, Yes, people do think he's a real person. Let's I stop tell him. You. <laughs> you don't do me that. No. <laughs> oh, God. Dang. Bang, bang, I'm telling bang, you. I find bang. we should have hired somebody to come and fight our fight, you know, because I ain't seen myself moving from here. <laughs> so certified is coming. He's such a cool dude. He called. Tell him bring us uh, um, a butter bread now. Nah. We go work, man. Yeah, but I had a fry it. I had a teacher. Tomorrow, we're going to teach you how to make fry. I don't think that's a good idea. If I could learn, you could learn. I really, I really don't think that's a good idea. Anyway. So he called, he said, JD, I thought something happening. He said, JD, boy. I said, oh boy, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, boy, I could be a little 10 minutes late. I said, that is why you sound like you want to dead. So yeah, nah, it's a man really do. Yeah. You know, I do, I do, I be on time and, you know, very meticulous. And I said, bro, just take your time and well, yeah, we well come up the road. Well, well, no, meticulous? meticulous. I just quote what he said. Yeah. Say it again, I he said he's very meticulous and he's, you know, he doesn't play with his time, with timing and time. I like to hear yes, you yeah. good with S words. Say it one more time. <laughs> I have an S word for you. Calm down. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe come out of focus. You want to see? JD, JD. Yeah. <laughs> Look how I get scared. Don't do that. <laughs> JD, I do not think that's funny. Don't do it, please. I don't like it. You know that. Calm down. Right, Denise so Martin says, it's just, is it just my volume that's low? Somebody help us out. Is the volume low or are you guys hearing us well? Boy, I don't know. Try to raise your phone or something on it because I have not yet figured out how to boost this volume from, from over here. So hopefully it's just your phone connection. Let me go across there and check the lives we want to see. Yeah, I'm looking. It looks fine so far. Yeah, how much we got? We 36 lives. Thank you so 36 much. 36 shares? What going on Oh, with shares. Your... Sorry. 36 shares. You're losing testosterone and your brain? For me, I'm losing estrogen and you're losing something. i just losing the zeal for, to, to put up with stupid people. But yeah, that's another story. That also happens. Thank you. Thank you, Kiki. Um, no, Kerry. Nisa Jamel does eat plenty, so... Hello, Lisa. I I made ten fry bakes, and he is going to get two, and that's <laughs> it. Thank you, Nazi, Nazarina, Nazarina. I didn't hear. Thank you, Crank. Hey, Crank. Right, there you go. Hold He's on, on a live location. Yeah. You know how to read yeah, that? Outside. Let me see where he is. There. Joanna says like my volume a, is picture. low as well. I'm hearing on YouTube, and texting here. All right. Okay, so. Um, let me see the live location. Let me see one, one, two, two, three, 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 three. All right, cool. Let me see them. Yeah, there's not a live, it's like a picture. Hopefully, this is a little better, guys. How are we looking there now? Yeah, one, two, my check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right, so we're not going to get into the topic until, of course, our guest is here. All right. Um, right about now is the time that we would have been talking to our guest, but let's just go into the comment section and say good evening to some kind folks mm -hmm. we hearing good thank you thank you all right i'm hearing good good it's krishna good. hi krishna says yes audio is low i mean it's loud in my ears yeah, but we still need here. to joanna okay joanna said my volume is low as well you just raised it though yeah thank you maria thank you thank you linda Thanks, we Natalie. good thank you we good we right. good so just keep it there from now on where it was lower for no, it's sharing time. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the 36 shares. Why you didn't if just you put it up like how it is now before? Where's that? The oh, volume. you're talking about it now? Yeah, well, it's louder. Oh, okay. Well, my mind, you know, I know, you know, I know learning the things, them too, eh? Mm -hmm. Bang, 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 <laughs> bang, bang, bang. All right. So now is the time that we will normally talk to our sponsor. Again, we want to say thank you so much to Little Caesars. Thank you to uh, Eba Music Festival and thank you to Lisa L. Edwin and Events. Um, 10 minutes late. You want to jump in? To the topic? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, you know what I want to? No, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Forgive me, guys. We be the chocolate. Hey, let, me, let me do that rap for them now. I don't want, to, I, I don't want all that thing to, um, to leave my brain. You could I wanna do any instrumental? I, I want to see if I still know it. Okay, hold on. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. Ad is louder. Yes, Luan, the ads are always louder. Ads I, don't are always know, louder. I don't know what that is, but thanks. 
Mm-hmm. And Jill says she sounds fine. Okay, thank you. All right, I want to, I want to, sh- I want to, this is not a topic, but I want to show you guys something. Let me know what you think, all right? What is on now? Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, Lord. We feed a chocolate step to my rap. Mm-hmm. She in a way, as a sweet a cat naps. He at the front club with the vibe break. He said he's 15 minutes away. Okay, nice. So let me share this. Okay, hold on. What? Why are you share? Oh, my God. You saw that? No, but I don't want to talk about it. Why? I don't want to offend anybody. It's not offense. I just wanted to find out what people think about about this. Uh, hold on. Share screen. Cool. Okay, cool. This one. Oh, my God. All right, so I saw this. Let me see if I could. Um... I let the spark tonight. The darkness while our hearts align. Pray with me. Leave it all behind. Oh, man, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. One second. Escape with me. I'll hold you tight. So this is obviously, um, I don't know the, uh, the name. Yeah, I don't know the name for a situation like that, but I saw that on the internet and I found it in the comment section, persons. Of course, you know, who were making fun, who were whatever. Made fun? People were make, making ridiculous fun and whatever. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, persons were seen. But in but for real, one if it's real, then I did a little research and it is real. Yes, conjoined twins. Right. How would how does that work? How would you what kind of life would somebody have? If they end up in a situation like that, clearly, thank you, Shakina. Clearly, the one on the left, I believe, got married, right? Because she seems to be the one that's more that is kissing him and you know dancing or whatever. And then her sister is right there. Mm. If the how does that work? So is it is it an arrangement that the sister said, "Well, listen, you now choose to not get married because Cohen, the Cohen sister said two for one sale." I am not, listen, this internet is a very scary place. I don't want nobody to chop this and say nothing. And then I end up on BBC. Yeah, I'm not even, right? I'm not even, so, I'm not even laughing. Cause I, I find it so, I find it. Okay, hold on a second. So talk to them, let me go get it guys. Babe, you're doing radio, you know how to do it. I'm reading the comments, mom, Premier Futna. So Joy says that is just ridiculous. Um, we we in which topic yet? JD just shared a, a video. I I cannot I, I can't comment on that. I I already don't understand how twins work. You know, like unless you can tell that they are very different, and that's just weird. I I don't know. I don't know why he showed that because I really I being mean is something that I don't ever want to be in this world. So. It's, it's different, it's weird. Is it for me? I don't know, I'm not a conjoined person, so I don't know. Do they share the same parts below the waist? Most likely, Mercedes, because it's one, it's one body. I just saw one body. So I don't know, but I, I not, I not, I don't laughing and stuff at people and I, that's not me. So I'm here and nobody's saying, oh, oh. so I'm guessing Certified is coming, not easy, Kel. Hey, Emmanuel. How you doing? Rosemary said it's hard to comprehend. Yeah, it's, it's very hard. And um, thank you, Abigail. Onika says it's fascinating because it's one body. I am just assuming. I don't know. But I... Hayden, that would be my question. Is it that one person... Well, the... Everybody, like, one feels, the other feels. I, I don't know, because it must be two different brains. But I, I don't know. But for laughing for people, laughing at people, this life too short, I'm not going on there. What are we talking about? Oh, wait, the conjoined twins. Yeah. But how them coming up these steps slow, so. I'm just on my best behavior. Thank you. 
guys have options going on it. Yeah, options. Yeah. That's good, though. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> and you're matching, you're matching with us. I have a story to tell you. I saw, I saw them live um, in any back any uh, live going on, but what kind of? Hey. Thank you for coming, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> Must. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. Ah, nice to meet you. It's nice how we matching, but we did not plan this, sir. We're in the same hues. We didn't plan the colors at all, but we definitely. I wonder if they could hear you. JD, are you taking out that water slow, so? JD so give the there. man water to drink in a plastic cup. Well, let's see why I just had to go and I do these this. things. How you get the man a plastic cup? Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on. That is, I guess, you give a plastic cup. Okay. Right. Oh, what trouble is this? Nah, I will, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to Mac again? Or oh, his mic is off from here? Yeah, yeah. His mic yeah. isn't on as yet, guys. You perfume down like you, JD. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, girl, them bubblegum. Somebody say, somebody say Jamel wearing his father's shirt. Wow. No, no, no. Definitely. <laughs> Hold on, let me find your mic. Let JD find your mic there. Somebody, somebody tell me it look like a curtain. Very. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, all right. So let me give him wow. a little fresh up. As you say that, I now see the little pattern. <laughs> it have a little pattern there. <laughs> all right. Let me give him the official mm. private online welcome. Well, all right, he is dancing. He is here. <laughs> He specifically told him it's big people night. Leave that boy home. <laughs> he said, well, all right. So I'll bring him, I'll bring him, I'll bring him. Gosh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> certified. Oh, legal. Drop your gun. Drop your yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Love that. In the building. Love that. Damn. Love that. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Drop your like, I should, I should go and dance or something. Eh, no, nah, nah, just relax. <laughs> Listen, you dance and show my candle in the back there. Calm down. <laughs> I'll be even. I'll be even today. Yo, certified. Listen, we want to say thank you so much for taking time to come through. I could only imagine. Are you looking? Yeah, man, you looking nice and clean across there. <laughs> like I he bathed, he bathed twice I, before he reached. I bathed three times actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to come through because listen, I could only imagine, not only based on the amount of videos we see that you're putting out mm -hmm. every single day, um, yeah. we don't want to know the secrets, but of course, we you have to be taping and recording every day. Persons may not understand how hard it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm an editor, so I could only imagine, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we understand it's not... I don't know if you use three cameras or one camera. Or one two camera. Cam one camera. Which, which makes it even manage all film for me. Right. And then, so the process is every day. So mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'm going to do something tomorrow. Oh, mm -hmm. so you don't know? Definitely not. So I, just... have a, <clears throat> okay, I have an idea bank. Mm. And in this idea bank, I keep all my ideas um, for a rainy day, essentially. Right. So with creativity, it's always good to keep it fresh, keep it mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. So even though I, I have this idea bank where I have ideas saved up, mm -hmm. I always try every day to come up with something new. The idea bank is only to touch in case of an emergency, which is maybe huh. creative block. Right. Um, things like that happen. Mm -hmm. Family, relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, life, life, life happens. obviously happens. Mm -hmm. I thank God that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely focused on... And I know exactly what I'd like to do, but the mm -hmm. idea bank is very important. Yeah. Right, right. Especially right. like if I go away or, yeah. or something like that, I need to make sure that I have the fundamentals uh, uh, down mm -hmm. and and not be distracted by anything else or or stop doing what uh, made me reach to the particular uh, aspects of life that I. Uh, listen, we go. Listen, we gonna talk tonight <laughs> because uh, we will be very real. But as I was saying, I want to say thank you because. We know how busy it's Saturday evening. You could be 
doing anything and even sleep is so important you could be home resting These and comments sleeping are killing me and i even seen yet <laughs> jamel your mother wicked somebody said jamel your mother wicked somebody oh. say um oh gosh why are you feeling to go for a belt when i'm watching him <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Uh. <laughs> you could be you know i still want to do the protocol you could be sleeping yeah you understand? You can put it on the floor too, eh? You can put it on the floor if you want. Oh, thanks. You could be sleeping, <laughs> you could be doing anything. Um, I called you and you see JD, boy, thing, wherever are coming through. The other people we try to get through here. And I mean, and it's no disrespect because we're friends with the industry. Mm -hmm. You understand? But we know how each and everybody always, each and every one of us yeah. is busy now. So yeah. I don't take this. And I know I speak on behalf of Fry Bacon Lime. Um, Viewers and family members, we don't take it lightly that you will come to online with us, Fred. Is so, it fry bake? I was, of course, I did fry bake. Fry bake, come, come I, on. So, so here, what I do appreciate, you mm. understand? <laughs> you acting like you eating this, you making this. I don't tell you, <laughs> Jamel. You could cook. I know. Hello. Absolutely not. And, Why is it and I moved out, and I live on my own. And the transition for food is so difficult that really? I buy food every day. That's why you see me, you know, well, a little bit beefy. We have the same issue, but what I was trying to say is, yeah, mm. for me, I need. I, I know the recipe for six bake. For six bake? Yeah. When, right. Because we I eat, eat, I eat three, and she eat three. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't make more so, than six bake. But no. I, 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 I don't a little extra today, so I get ten because he said you're coming with your manager. Yeah. So what, what happened there? So, um, as he was saying today, today <laughs> I slept. Okay. I slept today. When I woke up, I saw like eight missed calls, oh. and I didn't update my manager. I was sending the location, so I was like, oh. "All right, let me get ready." And, um, okay, okay. So, so let me tell so you. So I don't need a Friday tenner. That could, that could I, be. No, I take it. All right. <laughs> so check this out. Okay. So if I pull up downstairs and he says to me, <laughs> "Oh gosh, hey, just stop." <laughs> hey. Brace yourself for this one. Yeah, why? Mm. <laughs> Nation, brace yourself for this one. He said, "JD, I say I on time, you know." And I driving, going, cruising. Me had the girl, them bubble gum. <laughs> me had the girl, them bubble gum. And he driving on the road. Uh, Nation. Listen. This man gone Port of Spain. <laughs> Are you serious? Thinking where we live. Uh, no, we're not going to disclose where we live. Right. But yeah. we live East Trinidad. So why you was in Port of Spain? Listen. Is as, the girl as... take the book, you know? <laughs> Let me just say. All right. So we we in, we in the we in the we in the east. Ooh, That's in the east. To say. We in the east. So right? embarrassing. Yeah, so because if I only tell them exactly where we are, it will make it even more embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because we're in a popular part of the East, mm -hmm. right? I do, I do. How you going down tongue? You wouldn't believe how confident I was when I left home. Most men are confident when they leave home. They didn't even, <laughs> didn't even pour on ways. Mm. I was like, I'll pour on ways when I want to reach a landmark. Mm. I'll pour on ways. It's until I say, wait, I've never really pour on ways before. <laughs> Let me just see how far away I am. <laughs> I see, this thing, when I see this thing rerouted me to go back. <laughs> wow. That happened to us. This could never no. be. All right, but that happened to us a couple of times when we go in south, right? Yeah. But, I mean. South is a whole different thing. Are south have so south, many different parts. Are you parts. so south? You so south, you don't know. You think, let so, me say, mm, Dabadi is, let's say Dabadi. You thinking Dabadi is dead in tongue? You so south? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> it was it was bad it was bad it was bad nah. because I, I looked at the time and i said right i'm on i'm on time right because i always try to always be on time at anything that i'm doing right right so when i realized it rerouted and i was like this is very, very embarrassing yeah, very right. very embarrassing but um thank you guys for having me of yeah course. right first of all um you ever watch Friday because absolutely, absolutely absolutely don't give me that gas absolutely talk, man, yeah. but they are custom men are custom giving women gas so take a little gas now no no, no but i did i did i did yeah. I've, I've i've watched some episodes of course right right um right. even before you you, you asked uh for me to come on Friday, um I, I saw some interviews before thank you so um, much so like when both of you always doing it by yourselves before any like yeah guests boy and yeah. whatnot so yeah. I did. We celebrated five years, four years, four years uh, next in month. June. So we start off in the pandemic, but um, yeah, we know you have started. All right, so guys, I'm gonna just let you know it's gonna be. Of course, we have a guest. We're gonna talk to him. It's gonna be more or less the same fry bacon line. We have the topic lined up. Just let me know when I go and roll out them bake for my please. Where are we going? You stopping? No, no. 
I say in about 15 minutes, I hope. <laughs> Papa, yo, you come here for your health. <laughs> I love this. I love this. We have love this. we have our usual things, all right. But of course, we want to take the opportunity and you know talk to Samson a little bit so mm-hmm. you all could get to know him a little bit, all right. Yeah. Samson, I have a confession. Yes, go ahead. And I'm and this is with all due full full one thousand respect, all right. Yeah. Of course, we knew when you came on the scene because there were only so many creators in Trinidad. Yeah. I think was doing, like in my mind, I'm thinking I was the first. Yeah. I could challenge anybody and be like, yeah, watch my 2008, I was doing this. So, yeah. so every time somebody comes up to yeah. me, I would be, I would know who doing stuff, right? To me, your content felt, I'm going somewhere with this. Your content at the time, to me, you grew up real fast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know when you know when you know somebody like when they're young, because you started what seventeen or something. Seventeen. See, Whoa. Yeah. see. So these, and I have to say, this gener. Well, when you're seventeen and five years pass, I mean, nineteen and twenty-one. You're twenty-one. It's, a, it's like a fast. Pew, you know I'm that? twenty-eight. That's crazy. <laughs> He's twenty-eight. Yeah, yeah he started seventeen. Yeah. So Jeez. I would have seen him when he started, and his his material then, I guess, was mm. for. His generation yeah. then. Yeah. It, it was, was, it was, it was, it, the humor was for a particular it age was, group. Yeah. And then yeah. me being still much more mature. Yeah. I couldn't handle or deal the speed. Yeah. The, oh, no, no. I think it was somebody in our big glasses <laughs> and you was moving. I thought you used to, did you used to speed up the videos? No, 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 no. You some, used to speed the some videos of up. Them, some of them were sped up, but, but some of them was not. You were um, talking that fast. Yeah. Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, oh, God, no. <laughs> and I, I'm holding my head and I hurt my head and say, yo, Lord, who is this? I guy? watched over some and I was like, this was me, boy. Wow. <laughs> like, I did this. But that's, that's life, you know. Remember, we live life in two ways. And, and some people don't even understand how to relish the moment. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of live life backwards. Yeah. So now that you're, you are this age, you're looking back and it's almost like, a, who was this? They, what? Were you even feeling yourself properly at, at 17 or 18 years old? One, one thing you have to get comfortable with is learning mm-hmm. and knowing that you would be better and grow better. Mm-hmm. Of course, once you're willing to now. Mm-hmm. So I adapted that from an early uh, standpoint. So when I started, hmm. I was seven years, probably 19. I was like, mm-hmm. yo, I'm just going to go on this journey. Mm-hmm. I understand that um, I may like the color blue. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody else may not like the color blue. Blue. Mm-hmm. blue. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I may do comedy that a particular age group or maturity may not like because I look at things that I may, I may not like mm-hmm, <laughs> and mm-hmm. I look at things that I like as well too. <laughs> I may look at things that I do laugh at and things that I laugh at as well. So it's, so I had to get comfortable with um, I'm putting all of this out there mm-hmm. and it's up for interpretation in many different aspects, many different age groups. Yeah. So I need to get comfortable <laughs> with doing what I do and obviously willing to change and learn. But that, that's Listen, a, that is a whole gem. That's a gem, you know. It what is. Who is the man that is Thanos? And drop a bomb. <laughs> yeah. What color <laughs> gem that was? No, because that was a yellow one. <laughs> yeah, because one of the things, especially in this age of content creation, when imagine, <laughs> imagine just doing what you love, and then the world gives it a name. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's what happened to us, you know. You we were just you doing just what we were doing, doing and what it just you turned like, into yeah. content creation. And then the world turned it into this creation. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now the stuff that you do, like your your genuine offering to the world yeah. becomes An criticized. Off- <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. Um comedy yeah, is sub- subjective. Mm-hmm. Um let's just let's just pull it back to Cat okay. Williams and Kevin. Okay. The, um, the okay. oil, right? Okay. Perfect. I love put this. Put that camera on me so I can see what's happening when I take off these headphones promptly. I'm not going to mess up my hair. <laughs> Cat I, love, Will- I love that. Cat Williams. I'm coming back to my, right. coming back to my, um, my, my IU at the time, eh? but Cat Williams. Yes. Uh, in terms of comedy being subjective, let's just take Kevin Hart and Cat Williams. Going to have a lot of people that like Cat Williams. Going to have a lot of people like like Kevin Hart. But to let uh, 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 people's opinion on the art that you do mm-hmm. um, or the content that you create steer you away from the main objective, which is to deliver for the people who like you and also to deliver for the people that are to come. Right. Um, opinions are, are just things you look at 
and figure out ways how could I grow from it. Right. If it's if his opinion to take on, is it is it a constructive opinion? Is it a destructive opinion? Right. And once you figure out that, you know exactly how to tweak. Because I definitely changed my content. Yes, yeah, so this is this did. is where I was going. So yeah. in the beginning, I, I I used to rip my hair out my head. But then you sat in the ground and I said, why do people think this dude is funny? He is <laughs> Yeah, kids, kids, kids. We end, up, we end up because we, we under these more or less um restaurant holdings. Yeah. I end up meeting family. I'm little Caesars. Yeah. We family, you Popeyes, you Popeyes right? Yeah. Um, but it's before that. You is on YouTube. So short content, I wasn't I, I never really liked short content. Yeah. Instead of no, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was on your YouTube page. Excuse. I just come to say, if you break anything in the corner there. No, no, he not. You see this bottle here? No, that bottle. Hold on, they're not seeing the bottle. Is the girl not here tonight? Okay, I'm still saying it. Mm. Because he clearly has multiple personalities. <laughs> anything you break in the corner there, you see this bottle here? I will, Very good. You know, I will be here for myself for sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I was on, on YouTube. Yeah. Right? And um, you had what I thought was one of the most amazing storytelling that I've ever seen locally. And wow. it was about, it, it's a bunch of them. I went down a rabbit hole, like a rabbit hole as a certified Samson content on YouTube. And one of them in particular, so you could, get, you could understand, it was, it was, I think it was just cloning somebody. Oh. It was cloning somebody. Yeah, and that's somebody, new year, new me. Yeah, yeah, that's all new, yeah. new me. Yeah, so yeah. I go in, I say, so I, I ran and tell Nisa, I say, Nisa, I think I'm his judge's dude. He has something, you know. <laughs> didn't have something. He has something. So it went from that. And of course, now, yeah. with what I, what I want to call um, the addition of, what you call this family of Jamel, Ezekiel, the, what's mom, the family name? Dad. So mom, Marlene, which is my mom's real name, and she doesn't like that. Oh, so the, so the <laughs> so character this, is your mom's real name? Yeah, but this character was developed years, years ago. How old um, are you again? I'm 28. How do you know the things? Sorry to cut you, but the things that the mother character does. Yeah. Your mom is exactly the same. Yeah, but how old? Not, exactly. The how old your mom is? My mom is 40. Somewhere in her 40s. Yeah. Like we don't get mommy age. But what I'm saying is this, right? I don't think the the, the things that you're doing in, in in that character is like our parents parents yeah. type of a uh, yeah old school. Old school, so yeah. you're doing some things, and I and I, yo, yo, how, how he know these? Yeah, kind of, you understand? So that means your mom literally grew up, grew up real old school, even down to the licks. Yeah, old school, old school. Everything was. So my mom was a single parent for 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 a little while. So you know, a single mom raising two two children, I have a little sister. You know, the okay. discipline is a little bit more because obviously she would like us to go down the, the correct path. So she needs to be there a lot more as well too. Right. It's only her doing it. Uh, of course, she had to work as well. So, you know, sometimes when mom say something and you do listen and uh, that belt or that slip So you, you, you used to get like the same way? The same way, but the same yeah, that's, way. That's how I know it. And, I, Nisa don't know that, you know. And I heard you will thank me for all these links. Yes, I, the same. I ain't thank her yet, but <laughs> I, will, I will thank her. I know. I know I will thank her, of course. I, uh -huh. I definitely appreciate my mom so much. She's she's like, she's the most inspiring person in my life other than, um, um, of course, God, because she's a very spiritual person. So, like, she would call me randomly. All right, I dream this. All right. Is she a, of a, a particular faith or she's just love um, spirituality? Um, yeah, she, she absolutely loves spirituality. She's she's in a, a age now where she's married. She's happy. Mm -hmm. um, um, she's grateful and you see it in the way that 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 she appreciates uh life and of course god because we so, know you're wrong spirituality even in the in the skits we hear you singing a little bit when mommy coming here my cry in, oh, influence 98.1 sunday morning well, blasting sky. wake up early oh, in the morning <coughs> also sky 95.5 you know about you, sky yes i know about All sky right, 95 <laughs> so i know about sky and then and then <laughs> 99.5 <laughs> FM. 99.5 <laughs> FM, of course, of course. And the music would wake us up and you dare not change that. You dare not Serious. change that station. So a lot of my my uh, my skits are based around family and what I've experienced because I realize life is comedy. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you look at things in a, in a serious way all the time and 
we can take different aspects out of it. You know, when you look at it, it's actually funny. Like, why is my mom arguing every day? Like, why can't you have a day where you're that is my smiling? Mother. Like, to me, that's... It's, it's funny to me that... Yeah. Yo, like, why are you so angry? How can I help you? Not be so angry. <laughs> that is my mother. But my mother in her 60s, so I, that's what I was saying. Like, the parents of the 60s... Yeah. They tend to... You understand? So for your mom to... to I tell you, she... I, I have a theory. She fall in that zone for I real, I have a real. theory, and my theory is called is Naughty Ways. Right? It's Naughty Ways. It's Naughty Ways. <laughs> Did it wow. always say so? Don't nobody... go there, babe. Do we didn't even go there? Wow, I need to hear this. I really need to hear this, please. No, I remember telling JD. I said, "There's something. There must be something. Why are they so angry? Why are they so angry? But they'll make it about. But you didn't pick up a broom. Yeah. You yeah. wouldn't pick up a book. Yeah. Eh? Look, so, so you just want to eat and don't do nothing in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Watch the ways. And I say. It's not the ways, you know. It's not the ways. It's not the ways. My theory is it's not the ways. <laughs> it's not it's the ways. something else. Else. Maybe, maybe work. Maybe. Maybe a luck. Ocean, maybe. good evening. Maybe. Of something. <laughs> no. Are it, you it, saying It depends on that, what the luck is. Wait, hold on. You can't. <laughs> I said what I said. No, you can't say the man. Ma- I didn't no, say no, anything no, about a man. I you, said. So, you know what I'm laughing? Miss, because she's happy now. So, no, so I'm not, that I'm means not... <laughs> <laughs> no, but Olya, let me tell you something. Yo, bro, let me tell you something. Nisa is on our next level of innocence. She don't even. She probably don't even know what we laughing at. You don't know what you just said. Anyway, forget it. What I say? She, see, she don't. You know what? Sorry. No, but I'm generally saying mm-hmm. a lot of us dismiss Caribbean parenting. Now yeah. I heard you say you're grateful for the licks. Yeah, I was never beaten. Wow, okay. Right? I don't know what it's like to get licks, and I turned out absolutely fine. Fine. Yeah. I have a 23 year old, and we had a couple run ins when he was in his teens and all yeah. of that. But I remember for myself, the one time I lost it. And when I mm. look back, I knew it wasn't the ways. It wasn't the ways. It's not the ways. It is be something inside. And I knew what it was. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I, I knew what it was years after, and I had to apologize to my son. Hmm. And I say, remember when I did X, Y, and Z? Mm-hmm. This was why I did it. So yeah. I think a lot of parents, sometimes even single parents, yeah. or even um, the parent that's doing a lot. So that's what I'm, I'm not going to say. Sometimes parents yeah. feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Now, as, I was, as I was explaining to you that my mom was a single mom. Mm-hmm. So having to work, come home, and then mm-hmm. where's in the same mm-hmm. kind of, is not the where's. It's not the so to, to come home after finishing a 10 hour, 11, 12 mm-hmm. hour shift to provide for your family, and especially, you know, doing it by yourself is mm-hmm. extremely is extremely stressful so to come home and your son in a vest lie down on the bed and wears in the doing sink, nothing um outside rake up the yard it didn't rake up yet yeah. um you know they try to instill responsibilities in 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 their children from young so when she come and she's seeing all of these these uh these these things that are undone of mm-hmm. course it's gonna come out yeah gonna come out in a in a different way it's only so much somebody can handle and it's only the older i got especially living on my own now i realize whoa my mom kept it together boy right right because right. because this is not easy at all but as i said she's a big influence in terms of the content that i create and the direction that i go um mm-hmm. as well and she instills humility uh, always being humble and grateful and always understand that the same way something comes is the same way it could go. I heard you say that. Yeah. You always say that. I don't play with that at all. Yeah. yeah. Listen, if you're now joining us, oh good, I read your talk. If you're viewing us for the first time, this um, is Fry Bacon Lime. It's a podcast we have every single Saturday, 7.30 p.m. We talk about relationships, real life things. Yes, we're Christians. Yes, we love the Lord. But relationships happen in all aspects of life right so we deal with things you don't normally deal with the church and we try to be very real about it our special guest hanging and liming with us this evening is certified samson yes. of course you would know him if you don't know him we're going to run through one or two clips we're going to get we're getting ready to go to the break in a little bit but here this let me ask certified real quick yeah how are you dealing now with your newfound theme well I wouldn't say newfound fame because yeah. I know you was out there all the while, but I think now you just when yeah. you read CNC three news and yeah, yeah, you know our pages are more mature page than yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I guarantee you, bro, there are a bunch of people on our page now start to 
understand. Lo- understand and love you and Ezekiel understand that. Yeah. So it's a different level. Are you? A, do you think it's a different level? Are you feeling it? How are you dealing with it? It's definitely a different level. Uh, uh, the morning I woke up, I had like 800 and something thousand followers on TikTok. And then like a week later, it's like a million. I was like, what, what's going on? But Wait. what I understand is when you do content and if something is working, you stick at it, you do it. You don't let the pressures of new followers get to you. You keep the formula that people like from you, and you would see it translate through the new followers as well. So when I saw the numbers going up, I was like, whoa, like, what's, what's happening? But snap back into reality. Mm. Hey, this is what I do. Um, I do content online. Um, love, love to express the creativity that mm. I have upstairs here in my head. Mm. And I'm going to continue to do that and not let uh, the pressures of having more followers or more views on a video. The negativity. Me. How do how the negative do, do you how you deal with the negative in the con, in the comment section? So it's, it's, it's the same way in life. Everybody is not gonna like everything. So you don't so feel no way comfortable. You, you don't no, I see something, something right? and I'll be like, what I'm saying, boy. But it, it's not gonna take me off the path that, that I'm going. You know why? Because it has a lot of people that look at the videos that support me that I've seen some messages from people, you know, obviously mm. I wouldn't call any of their names, but right. hey, you helped me out of school, you helped me out of CXC, you helped me out of uh, 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 stress. Hey, I had a little two-year-old and, you know, when they reached two, that two-year tantrum situation, I was so stressed out and your content helped me. Um, so when I see messages and, 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 and comments like that, obviously I'm doing something right. Now, I wouldn't know, of course, if I'm doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. Majority, minority, we always have to look at life like that. What are the majority saying? What are the minority saying? And also take it with a pinch of salt. Sometimes it's just not somebody's style. I understand that I may not be somebody's style. Tie in a head, tie in my head. It have old school people that do like that. Um, tie in a head, tie in my head from a grandmother character. It have old school people who do like that at all. But so, but even when you do, even when you do, in my opinion, when you do the the, the woman's character. Yes, we know it's a mother character. It's a female character. Yeah. But it's not like you're nah, being no. female. It's weird. Nah. It's the, I think you're the first person to me that tried to put on a, a woman's character and then it doesn't look super female. Yeah, yeah. Was that on purpose or is... On purpose for sure because in the earlys, um, I had like different characters that... I used to do what, you know, the, the following that I had was a lot of kids. Mm-hmm. And kids just like characters. Elmo, Barney, <laughs> all these other stuff. So I got right. stuck in that. Like, it wasn't on purpose or anything. That was just my sense of humor, that age now. Whereas, like, uh, now come out of secondary school, still a clown. Um, I didn't mature um, as fast as my other peers did. Right. So to express my creativity, you know, like, like I just felt like being different characters. Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart being a lot of the people that I look at, Key and Peel, all of them uh, who are big inspiration for what I do. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they, they expressed characters so well. Sometimes it's like, yo, this is the person um, or is this other person doing this? And I just expressed that. Then it reached to the point where I was doing too many characters. I was beginning to get a little bit uncomfortable with. This is how I started to feel and like, no, it's you narrowed it. down to to this particular yeah. set. And know? then I changed it because of, it, it started being extremely, extremely uh, difficult to continue doing uh, kids comedy in the sense mm-hmm. where I'm putting on all these characters and I, I'm, I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. Right. I, just, I just feel like I'm putting things out there that I'm not enjoying and eventually it, you will see it in the work. Right. Um, and I didn't want that to happen so I had to go back to the drawing board and I just made a shift. Um, I experienced a lot growing up, a lot. Like when I say a lot, a lot. Um, as I mentioned, my mom all the time, I experienced a lot from her uh, in terms of parenting. So life to me is comedy. We experience things we may not think might be funny. Let's just say I'm standing up in a line and I'm ordering uh, food, somebody in front of me taking long, long, I go, why is this person taking so long when it's time for me to order? Yep. I am taking long as well. So now the person behind me trying to figure out why this person taking so long. Now. So yeah. you can find different aspects of comedy in, in life. 
And that's the style of comedy that I do, which may not be everyone's style. And I've got I've gotten accustomed to that uh, in the sense where this is my story that I'm telling. Mm -hmm. And whoever is enjoying the story that I'm telling, I will continue to do such. Nice. Not change the content for the people who may not like what I do. Or it's like, yo, this guy is not funny. I do essentially like to label myself as a comedian, although I do comedic skits. I like, I like, I like to, yeah, which I see your face there just now. Like, yeah, like, I've, I've done some short films as well. Uh, the New Year knew me not, not being a, f a full comedic video. It had a little bit of emotion in it as well. I have other short, short stuff that I've done, short films that I've done. Uh, when COVID came out, I did a short film on the, grandmother character uh, right. passed away and whatnot. So it was an emotional thing based on, you know, doing the wrong thing. Uh, Jamel uh, going out there, interacting with people when the family tell him stay home. He came back home. Grandmother got COVID and then she had eventually uh, passed. So yes, I do comedy. Um, but you wouldn't label yourself as I, a, a I don't want to label myself as that alone. Alone. Yeah, alone. I don't want to confuse people and be like, yo, what are you talking about? Like, you know, as laughless videos or whatever. But I don't like to label myself as that alone. Mm -hmm. um, I can do different forms of, of content that I've displayed on YouTube. Um, and sometimes I might do a video that I may not even think is funny. It's just relatable. Right. You relate to it, you experience it, you went through it. And, and through relatability sparks conversation. And that's how you keep you keep continuing doing the uh, the content along that line. Excellent. All right, guys. So guess what? Um, we have Lisa coming through. She's, she's supposed to be coming through in a little bit. We have Samson. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm not going to say. So we're getting ready. Uh, focus, focus. Baby, my summer focus. All right, cool. We're getting ready to go into a break right now. Um, share the live. Okay, hold on, hold on. Samson, I just sent you the link to the yes. live so you could you know watch through um comments if you have any comments you see that you want to say hi to so all right guys we'll be back right after the break okay fry bacon <laughs> pizza pizza <laughs> Something good gonna happen in this year And I am grateful that I'm in On Saturday, May 11th it's Eba Music Festival, the ultimate Mother's Day event. Napari Mogol Amphitheatre San Fernando. Come, let's celebrate the divine feminine energy with Empress RJ. Oh. Collis Durante, Nisa. Stephanie Joseph, Naomi Sinek, Jaron Nurse. Darren Shepard with NLCB Fonclair and Farmer Nappy. Oh, Tickets are $250, available at Cache, Eastgate, Center City, Trin City, Port of Spain, and Gulf City. Java Nation at Food Hall, Piaco Plaza, Sion's Bar, San Fernando, and online at Island E Tickets. Napri Mabol Box Office, Friday 10th and Saturday 11th May from 10 a.m. Or call Pat at 770-1241. Showtime 6.30 p.m., gates open at 5 p.m. An exciting welcome party awaits you. Best Dressed Mom wins two airline tickets to Grenada. Eva Music Festival, Saturday May. 11th Napri Mabol Amphitheatre celebrating the divine feminine energy. Share the live. Share the live. You're watching Fry Bacon Live, the number one podcast in Trinidad. All right, so we're back. So, guys, give me a couple seconds. We're live, and I'm just gonna. Baby, you wanna come and take over for a second? Okay, so baby's not gonna take over. All right, so we are going to be back. Hold on. What should I do? Okay, cool. I'll be back. Guys, don't move, right?
Better a, a little bit, or do you really sure. guess? No, guess? All right, nice. So when you come up, let me, um, yeah. So if you don't know, you never saw Samson before, let me just, uh, nice. Look at the little. You know my husband finally buy ring for me after eight years? Let me see the ring. Watch, he paid $37,000 for it. What is that? What is that you're showing me? Mommy, wait me, my showing you, I'm showing you the ring. No, no, oh, no. Gosh. Nah, nah, I'm a stress level. Can't deal with this today, Bushy, man. Bushy. 24K car. 24. Oh, oh. Is it like me and your father when you ring your hand on your hand? Yeah, mommy. I was washing it for you. Is it like move your hand from the sink and take oh, it off for me? I can take it off now. Oh, 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 oh,
then why not come to an exposition? And then this year it has grown so much in that we have some wonderful Caribbean islands who is coming and ex, um, exhibiting at our exposition that have some super giveaways. As you know, most persons, I mean, who wouldn't want a discount or who wouldn't want to win a, a, a complimentary honeymoon or even a homeowner because it has gone past just weddings now where anybody could come to our exposition and they are able to, to have a three night, four days, all inclusive expenses, speed, um, honeymoon trip or vacation trip. And then all the other different hoteliers who are there as well give persons weekend trips as well, weekends, vacation weekends as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important for persons to come to the exposition and to see how far it has gone now from just a wedding expo with 20 exhibitors to a wedding exposition with over 75 exhibitors. I think it's necessary. Seven, 75 yes. exhibitors. Yes. Of course, persons may not know, but you... Um, we're our I was just going to say wedding planner yeah, no, no, <laughs> and we didn't have to worry about a thing you linked us with our travel agent person oh she, she did yeah I can't mm. remember that part no it was Lisa Ling the, the it's all coming back everything was so you know that and then mind. she would link things for us we went to St. Lucia BMW pick us up we went mm -hmm. to Sanders all of that and you just put every single thing in place so this event is for persons, of course, who, is it for people who are dealing? I mean, they're not, they're not engaged yet, they're dealing, you know? Yes, it's for single folks. Like Samson and them, they who are girl and them, you know what you're doing It's just for everybody. I mean, our exposition has gone fast just for weddings. It's now for everybody because of the type of exhibitors who stay as well. Mm -hmm. Even persons who are planning a corporate event, you know, could be part of it. We have persons who actually... I just into rental cars. You know, sometimes you something goes wrong with your car, you're looking for a real reputable person to, to rent cars from. We even have rental car persons in the exposition. So basically the exposition has gone past just weddings. Because it has it has grown. Well. Yeah. It's for any type of event you're planning, you can come to that. Or even somebody who just wants something to do on next week, Saturday and Sunday. You have so many different types of exhibitors that you could come, you could meet them, you could, you know, find out more about their products, find out more about their services. Mm -hmm. It's a very it's a very nice place to be, mm -hmm. you know, next weekend. Man, listen, so it's this next weekend. Yes, well, we this is Saturday already, next week Saturday. Oh, that's yes. right around the corner. Next week Saturday, next seven days, six days. Six days. Yep. So <laughs> where they could get the tickets, how how persons could come through? Well, it's easy for persons who just don't want the hassle to go there and get a ticket before they can purchase their tickets on the day of the exposition. Mm -hmm. For those who rather not stand in line and wait for a ticket, you can mm -hmm. go to any one of Zena's locations. You can go to King's Lounge, Barber's Bar, both locations, or you could come to us at Center of Excellence or sit at the comfort of your home and just go online at ledwinexpo.com, ledwinexpo.com and purchase your tickets right there online. So it's no hassle at all. L Edwin Expo dot com. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Man, Lisa, listen. Let me just say though, um, mm -hmm. I remember I went to a wedding expo when I didn't know anything at mm -hmm. all. And I'm like, why are you doing here? And it didn't it didn't register until we were literally planning our wedding. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, these things are so important. very important. So That's even right. even if you know, somebody might be like, it's not me, I'm not, I'm not getting married, or, you know, but you must know somebody who's in something or um, in terms of the events, planning events. We live in a, in a space now where everybody is, planning is something. doing yeah. something. It could be a birthday party, it could yeah. be an anniversary, it could be yeah. somebody who's just looking for a vacation. Mm -hmm. When you have a country like Barbados who's yeah. coming down to our exposition with five hoteliers and is saying, listen to me, these are five five-star resorts um, hoteliers who is coming down with us take your information plan your vacation one time or mm -hmm. plan your honeymoon whatever you want to plan mm -hmm. you know you can go there plus you have St. Lucia and you have so many of our local exhibitors who are coming up with discounts and so much things to offer that I'm saying it is very important to go to those type of ex expos especially ours then we have persons like dwellings, you know, who's there. Sometimes you want to you want to change up some of your furniture. You want to kind of coordinate certain things in terms of colors. So you have exhibitors there who's going to help you plan throughout. Nice. Listen, so, and persons may not know how stressful it is to just even plan a vacation. Yeah. Because, yo, you know what um, What I learned too as well? We get, we're getting ready to um, go into the topic, guys. But you know what I learned? That? that you could get certain discounts based on the time yeah. that you book your ticket That's and right. all of that and if you don't know if you don't know what you're doing you understand you could just end up paying more money that so let the professionals 
Like yeah. Lisa put you on and make things happen. And the good yeah? thing about it, I'm happy that you raised that point in terms of when you want to plan your vacation because being in front of the hotels that you want to stay at, mm -hmm. they are able to tell you when they have their lower rates from when their rates will go up. So you are able to plan every single thing in front of them as well as most of the exhibitors there will be able to let you know because many times they have sales. Mm -hmm. They will let you know, okay, and right now we are having a 10% off if you book with us, a 15% off if you book with us. So it's very good to come to our exposition so you gain knowledge, you have the understanding of the product and you're able now to put every single thing together for your special day. So it could be a wedding day, mm -hmm. it could just be a fun out to a family, mm -hmm. reunion, whatever event you want to have, you definitely will find the exhibitors to be able to help you to plan it. So persons may not know where it is. It is at Center of Excellence. Mm -hmm. It's this coming Saturday and Sunday, Saturday 27th of April and Sunday 28th of April is two different times. On okay. Saturday, we open from 12 noon to 7. Right. And on Sunday, we open from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. And again, mm -hmm. the tickets are only $100 and That's you good. can pay at the door. That's good. Amazing. Lisa, well, you know we're going to be down there next week. Please, God, all right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for Saturday running through. Sunday. All right, we're going to jump back in. I mean, Olela, I meant for fry bake too, Emma. Hello. Of course, I and tell Olela, yeah, I made six bake. <laughs> What's this setup thing about? Well, we catch it about that. I find it be, yeah, you're bringing the, you're making the list long and you need any Yo, flour. We are going back to the break and right. we're going to get into the topic. We're going to give you the show. We're going to get into the topic and then hopefully if um, but did 65 she say, sticks she around, said you can take one or two your calls. She said all she needed to call. say, right? She said all she Yeah, you, you get everything, right? You get everything? Yeah, once it is, they know exactly okay, what good. date is, what time <laughs> it is, the price um, involved. Mm -hmm. We are very good to go. We're very good to go. Nice, nice. You're looking nice in the corner there too. Oh, thanks. Uh. Yes, <laughs> Guys, we're gonna be back, all right? Don't move. Hold up, hold up. All that trouble they give you more than your father, I'll beat you. I have slippers, wood spoon, <gasps> box spoon, belt. Go over with the game links with everything. What's up on your um, chest, boy? Pop, 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 that granny. That is not pop. Come, show me where you get that thing where you have on your okay, chest. Okay, wait, wait. Let me show you. What, 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 what granny is? It's powder. I end up breaking this time. It's kick, sorry. But, but, I find powder, granny. Boy, I'm your husband, ashes, boy, oh, Lord, father. Uh oh. I do something wrong, Granny. He's a wicked child, why? He's a wicked child. Oh, oh, you going back to your mother, you know? I'm going to take it to your mother. Gosh, the place so peaceful. Oh, yes, but take it. He can't back me. Can't do it, you know? What do you do? Because oh, he oh, wearing oh, my oh, husband. All oh, my husband asses on. Take him. I don't want him. Bye bye, Granny. Mm. You ain't even last a full day for your grandmother, boy. Al. I love you, Al. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Ezekiel take my husband ashes and put it on his chest like powder, you know. This is the last time your father, you know. Mommy, why you come with the ashes in a bowl like that? Put that down, let me go upstairs for something to put it in. No, All right, mommy, come, come. 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 It's twisted like a stir fry. Hey, well, I'm hungry, babe. Hey, mama, not to go flour for me. Yes, sir. Daughter, you need to carry Ezekiel by a pasta, you know, daughter. Mommy, I know how we No, no, you don't know. Something about his spirit half. I don't know All right, mommy, we can wait in this. Yes, sir. Show me the rain of your belly, you know. Show me the letter of black bowl here with your grandfather ashes. Which part it is? Wait, what? This was a Lord. Lord, Father, look how you fried up your husband. Lord, you was that you little friend of Ezekiel. Only want to kill me with strength, boy. Oh, you go fry up your husband. Lord, why not? I don't know you're still there eating the fish, boy. I mean, Mama, I'm a fish, boy. Oh, Mama, you're worse than your brother, boy. Brother! I'm sorry, eh? I'm real sorry. Wow. Let me tell you something. Us. <laughs> Watch whether... Did I did you the... find out what Fubel wanted, at least? Oh, no, hold on. I watch my... It's not, um... This is not a joke laugh, eh? I am dying, bro. <laughs> People, Tara is on the floor. Uh, so where call. you get oh, the floor for call. the bag? Hey, bro, I thought you were plugging free. Oh, wait. What happened? I forget her, um, I forget her thing. Furbo, boy? I will... Furbo, don't worry. I got, don't worry. I'll go make it up for you. Furbo, I got you. Whatever, I got you. Whatever you need, talk to me. Yeah, because and you know, we were scrum. Brain? Today was, a, as we were saying, today was a miracle, a miracle um, thing. This yeah, is but, a miracle life, this. Yeah, but Furbo... Don't worry, I got you. I got you. I find you talking slow. Like I wouldn't be able to put it in now, though, for but don't worry, I got you. Promise you, I promise you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as I was saying, that wasn't no, that wasn't no, um, it was no fake laugh or nothing. I thought it was going on 
Quick before we go to the topic. Yeah, because I have some egg to yeah. fry. I thought it was going. I thought it was going and drag it for that one. Anymore. I thought it was going and drag it. <laughs> she has some egg to fry. Just three eggs. <laughs> Push my back a little bit. Push, Push my right back. back. Right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. All right. I thought it was going and drag it for that one. You know. I I I was I was on the line with that one. I was on the fence with that one. I was like, ah. But well, my, my belly kind of, but like, it's a joke, yeah. man. It I, is held, a joke. I held that for about five hours before I posted it because I did it early in the day because mm. I was so excited to do it. And I was like, right. I know for sure this one gonna do it. <laughs> I was I can, like, I can tell these things. Right. Okay. Sure. So we going to the topic. Yeah, like I right. see all your all your all your eyes just go to and fro. <laughs> That's how your brain going. Your tell me come and read the topic. Your 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 titty vein. And pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. All right, let's go. Yo, right. let's get to the topic. JD and Nisa are not professional counselors. We give our views and opinions on real life scenarios that people send to us. We also encourage our audience to chime in and give their experiences. They are also not professional counselors unless they are. Now, now on, on to, to the, the topic. topic. Watch, Watch and, and enjoy. enjoy. Share the live. Share the live. You're watching Fry Bacon Live, the number one podcast in Trinidad. Our topics come anonymously. Uh, if you want to send your topic or you know a situation somebody going through, you just want advice or you just not advice, you just want to hear your thoughts, you could send it to frybakeandlime at gmail.com. Frybakeandlime at gmail.com. Nisa? All right. Dear Nisa and JD, I'll make this short. A big part of me feels like I made up my mind already, but I very much feel like I'd like to hear your views. My husband and I were married for 12 years. We were pretty young when we got married, and both of us were very churched. We are also both very different now as we've changed as people do with time. We've been having some rough years for about four years now, but we remained married, at least on paper. He left our home, which we shared with his in-laws, about a year now. I invested a lot of financial seeds into this space, renovated, etc. It's a beautiful space, and I also work from there. Everyone that knows me says I should leave because it looks very bad that he's gone and I'm still there with his in-laws. To be honest, there are awkward feelings at times because no one talks about anything. Go ahead, sorry. No one talks about anything. It's like we know, but what do we say? I highly doubt they will kick me out, but I just don't want to walk away from all that I put into that house. We are still legally married, but like he moved on living with someone else, and I don't know if he's coming back. What all you think? Hmm. Hmm. You, you heard it, right? Yeah. Um... Well, of course, we're going to give you an opportunity in the comment section. It happens. It happens. Somebody in a situation like that, you know, you get married. Yeah. You live with my in-laws, but you're still poor. You, I can imagine you poor your money, you fix your renovate your kitchen, your wherever, and your wherever. Yeah. I guess it didn't work out on the man's side. Yeah. He end up with somebody else, and he move out. But you there still with your in-laws. No, it's not. It's one thing if you're there by yourself. Yeah. You know, you say, well, you know what? I don't put money in this thing, but you're there by the person in law. So you had to deal with remembering. And they were together for how Well, they were married for how long again? How long was married for? Them? Four. Five years? Was it four, four five years? Twelve, it's 12 years. 12, 12 years they were together? Twelve. Well, I'm sure when you're together that long, sometimes. Um, in laws are like what? Family? Um, that was going to say? No, no, no. Um, how long they were married for? They were married for 12 years. My husband and I were married for about 12 years. And we were pretty young when we got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were very young. So for, for something like that, um, I can imagine how devastating it could be for sure um, after being together so long and then somebody just, just leave. I know you're, you're there with your, your in-laws. But in terms of love, sometimes people fall out of love. And sometimes you see your partner just start to drift away. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things I'm sure in a relationship is communication other than a spiritual relationship. So, um, you know, having, having a situation like that happen. You will stay there? It, or you, you will say, well, you, so, you spend, you spend $40,000 on kitchen counter. You spend this, you put an extension in the back. You see, in the front. You, you, you see me every day. 
you see you see me every day <laughs> after spending all the money you're gonna see me every day what do you mean so you you're, you're not moving out why am i moving out no i will move out the if 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 i catch back myself but if i'm in a position where i can't <laughs> move out why moving out <laughs> after spending all that money fry big yes boy <laughs> why move <laughs> i could wake up all them things I purchase in the place. Wake up and make some fry bacon. And eat some fry bacon in front of everybody's face. You want me to move out? Well, I see, I real belly too, but I know, I know, I mean, I understand I invest where, but you know what I, I would I do? I would uh, stay in contact, obviously, with my husband to try to get, I mean, why not stay in there, bro? I would stay. I would stay until <laughs> I catch myself. No, imagine leaving and you dig yourself in even. Uh, See, when go back by your mother? Um, <laughs> real life scenario, my mother don't want me to come back. <laughs> my mother, from the minute I leave my mother house. It's not coming back, other than Sunday for some food. Now nah, she only saying, let me tell you something, she only saying that. I could eat on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, I mean, it's air we eat. She only saying that. If you in a jam, and she feel like you bounce your head. You understand? And you say, mommy, boy, ting, ting, bang, and you come back home. She yeah. opening. And them, them kind of old school mother who used to beat the most, them just love her the most, you know. I am staying. <laughs> and I'm curious to see what the comment section say, says. I am but staying. I am definitely staying. All after right, spending me... all that money. And right. to move out, to put myself in a bigger hole. That's going to be even more stressful. Yes, good. My mom is one thing, but how long I'm gonna stay my mom? Bro, let me say, all right. Good evening, Trisha. Trisha says that is no that is no brainer. Whether you invest in the space or not, you knew the house wasn't yours. But if the in-laws allow you to stay, well, that is if you are comfortable. But it's time to divorce that man, because he already divorced you when he started living with someone else now of course divorce is something that and this is coming from a divorcee myself all right divorce is not something that i would always throw out there but there has some people let me tell all you it has some people who i've heard testimonies of persons Yo, if i could come here every sun saturday it, it had a <laughs> lashing it lashing with <laughs> is it serious no, say, say Friday, yeah, yeah. I've heard testimonies where persons break up, man gone and live with woman for five years, six, seven years, and then they come back together. Now, that's not the norm, but it happens, all yeah, right. Yeah. So, but Trisha, I understand what you're saying, me in laws, but that, that 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 is difficult because you're coming home now to a place to a home and you see any person being you're being reminded it was yet to be back if you're looking like your mother yeah. or your father you're looking like your, your in-laws so you had to be reminded it's like opening a a, a a cut or a wound over and over again coming home because you say well look i spent all this money i'm me leaving so when i say i'm staying i'm not saying i'm staying forever eh? i'm staying yeah, till right? still till till what whatever situation that i'm in and that i can get out of and basically uh uh move out of there I absolutely will but having to go immediately not knowing the circumstance somebody is in that's extremely difficult to do such I going by a friend so <laughs> I going by a brethren let me see what the comment section saying uh -huh. I feel that answer is based oh, on if let me get it that answer is based on if you know somebody who, who you can go by if you, if, you, if you can't really bounce back by yourself at the, the particular time um, let, let's just say I could, and I could go live by myself, and I'm financially able, and and it's possible for me to do so. But you wouldn't go catching your tail. I wouldn't go catching my tail. That make no sense. I wouldn't go catching my tail. Now, as a man, that probably songs, you know. No, no, why, nah, why? Nah, yeah, because watch this. If you flip the script, because this is a woman, obviously, it's a woman writing, right? Yeah. But if you flip the script and it's a man saying that, and you, your wife, pick up and gone. Yeah. Baby, your wife pick up and gone with our next man you hmm. understand hmm. and the man is not the man ain't looking like the the what your name crocky on, on your on your thing crocky 
มาเนี่ยเราเกลียดกรักอีก There's no no dead beat man The man tall Oh gosh You understand? When you see he step out of car Good observation Karen, thank you His one leg step out of the car The next leg step out of the car And the next leg step out of the car What kind of max is that? That's not That's not really good On the side of the That's not good Opponent Down the mark Down the mark <laughs> wow, <laughs> eh? And he tall, and he ting ting, and you have to check. You know, you staying by she parents, yeah, because mm. you pour in a little, you fix this and you that and you ting and ting, bro. I gone. How much was it that they they put over forty thousand? But we, yeah, she, didn't, said she, she didn't say, say a number, but I just say you yeah. know. In an extension in a house, there's no small money, you know. It's just not a, a little room could run you close to eighty thousand dollars. Normal, normal. You know what? No, I understand you put your money out, but let's get to the comment section. What what the comment section is saying, guys? We're gonna open up the lines if you wanna. Somebody saying they didn't hear the topic. The volume is a bit low. Can you repeat, please, Nisa? I'm just gonna repeat it for those of you who didn't hear it. It's not very long. JD, why you get up for again? All right, so here's the topic. Dear Nisa and JD, I'll make this short. A big part of me feels like I already made up my mind, but I very much feel like I'd like to hear your views. My husband and I were married for 12 years. We were pretty young when we got married, and both of us were very churched. We are also both very different now, as we've changed as people do with time. We've been having some rough years for about four years now, but we remain married, at least on paper. He left our home, with we, which we shared with his in-laws about a year now. I invested his in-laws. Mm -hmm. so his in-laws, which is his her. parents. His, it's supposed to be his parents or her parents. It's supposed to be his parents. His parents. His, so, yeah. Right. I invested a lot of financial seeds into this space, renovated, etc. And it's a very beautiful space. I also work from there. Everyone knows, everyone that knows me says I should leave because it looks very bad that he's gone and I'm still there with his parents. To be honest, there are awkward feelings at times because no one talks about anything. It's like we know, but what on earth do we say? I highly doubt they will kick me out, but I just don't want to walk away after well i don't want to walk away from all i put into that house we're still legally married but like he moved on living with someone else and i don't know if he's coming back yeah what, like, think? i personally think stay until he could figure out a way to, to get out of there because like like just walking away from everything and she mentioned as well she would she worked from she there. works from, you from build, there you build a life with somebody you put you put a lot with them and then uh they decided to go where they had to go um, after you put financial, emotional, everything, you know, um, for you to immediately go, I'm gone. Immediately, nah. One time, nah, nah. I, I nah. just get vexed that I could relate. Nah, immediately, nah. I come in and see Sam, Samson. Look like you have a little extra room there where you now move down there. <laughs> <laughs> I just I get a little, a little triggered that i can relate tammy says i wasn't going nowhere so tammy you just stay in there with well that was that was something too sammy saying he ain't going he's nowhere until, he's staying there until he catch himself and yeah like, right gone no that's a serious thing so imagine immediately leaving mm. and then having to worry about something else now which may be either financials which, mm. is, which may be um you had to work from home now of course she says she's working from home yeah yeah so now she had a she had to start over essentially and that starting over process is not an easy one. Yeah, it's so. It's, so it's his parents. It's not. It's so. She by his parents, right? So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But they 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 were they were married for over twelve years. Yeah. Right. Um, a relationship was built there. Mm -hmm. With her and her partner. At, yeah. At, at the time, as well as the parents, they already know her. They already got comfortable with her. I'm sure they lived there for. A long period of time obviously it would be awkward it would be a little bit different but imagine imagine the the levels of stress she's going through right now 
All it takes one, take one bad face, you know. You wake up in the morning and brush your teeth and you say good morning and they say back good morning. Let me see that comment. Somebody said something. Move that from show. Uh, which one, Ray? Jay. Jay says, what would be a good question in this situation is what are her legal rights? She had no legal rights there, you know. Margaret says, I know of a situation here. The couple living next door to the mother relationship end ends woman lives next door what it's right there right there you move yeah. margaret where sorry no, not yeah it's sorry, gone okay hey justin oh my gosh margaret, margaret that's cool. it right she says i know of a, you're chewing in the mic though i know sorry. of a situation here the couple living next door to the mother relationship end woman lives next door with his mother now well them is a different type of mature. Let me tell you something, right? So I could relate on a different type of level. First of all, I've never, I, mm, Lord Jesus. Mm. <laughs> so my testimony, real bacchanalish. I had, hmm, I don't know if this, I don't know. Be careful. I don't know what to say because I'm not, I'm not trying to be malicious or anything. Lines are open. Give us a call. Tell us what you think. 724-4249. But, you know, break it down to us, Lisa. What, what, what are you trying to say? If you have a good mother-in-law, you are blessed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A lot That's of people lot. Yeah. are not as fortunate to have that. You understand? Agreed. I had one and God rest her soul. But outside of that, this is a tough situation. It's a tough situation. Very but right. what I am gathering is she's welcomed where she is. Yeah, or else the conversation would have gone differently. She is yo, she welcomed where she is. They're not putting her. But out. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you are living in a space that triggers a memory of that, a life that's why I say that no longer exists. Whether, yeah. no, 12 years is a long time. That is what I say. Now remember, Dan, <clears throat> you eating people, Grant. <laughs> you eating. <laughs> Sorry. We'll finish the joke so I can laugh now. <laughs> you that man is eat people ashes and things, you know, so you have a kind of mind. <laughs> didn't know it was ashes. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know. I thought it was flour butter. <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> Grant, no. <laughs> Highlight Carolyn's um what 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 is the comment you are going to make, JD? I'll just play with him. But okay. basically he is saying that he would stay I would stay until I'm I'm able to go. When I'm able to go, mm -hmm. I will leave. Even if it, even if they're how, watching your bad face? How long that going to take? Three months. What if it takes a year? I right, now nah, we're pushing it there. Yeah. So, so that's that's when no I I I need to understand the situation that happening and I need to take control of it and at least the way of I cannot stay here because it's not good for me mentally and it could break you down because as you said you know let's just say she she go back out to work come back home mm -hmm. sometimes when you come home is a different emotion you're feeling mm -hmm. um I remember I remember um I'll be careful in how I say this mm -hmm. So I remember. Hmm, Giselle. Let me, be kidding, let, me, let me see how I can do this. Mm -hmm. So, my mom had a partner mm -hmm. in the early mm -hmm. and I wasn't necessarily happy uh, with the with, person. With the person. Could I ask why? Um, they what? were they were a little bit too. Uh, I didn't feel accepted. Okay. Essentially, mm -hmm. in many different aspects, in terms of, um, I wasn't. His son, mm -hmm. so I felt, mm. I felt a little bit like a outsider, a little bit because the person had a child as well too. You see, so oh so it gosh. felt it felt a little bit different now. A so long. I used to be outside, Lord and Jesus. right after I finished work, I used to work Shagona Health Center. Right after I finished work, I used to go Enterprise, which I where I grew up, mm. and I used to go back where all my friends mm -hmm. stay until nine o'clock. You see what I tell you? Then go she home. Seen that then go home. Mm. Then go home, take a shower, sleep. And that's my week. So you avoid. And I would dread the weekends. Yeah. Because that's when 
that that's that's when I'm home. Right. So right. I wasn't comfortable. And you know, <clears throat> my mom realized I wasn't happy and you know, she took action, of course, eventually. Uh but I kinda understand the situation to the point mm. where you're in a space where you don't feel comfortable. Mm. Um but the situation is obviously is different for her because she spent so much time, yeah. money, energy, hmm. energy. So to immediately get up and leave, I know people would say that. You know, it's how people have real pride. Eh? Yep. And pride absolutely kills. Yep. Pride is one of the number one killers. Yes, right. no, pride no, is no, and, and especially men. Men have so much pride hmm. that it judges uh, 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 their, their, their decisions mm -hmm. and overshadows certain decisions. And that's why sometimes it can be emotional. Pride is an emotion. Mm. And it can be too emotional to the point where, nah, I too much pride, boy, by leaving, boy. You leave now. Mm. And now you're looking for a, for a place to go. And then now it's like, oh gosh, <laughs> fridge and cheap chain. Yep, yep. You can go with how much you can go with from in the house, but I know fridge and cheap chain, cheap. <laughs> and, 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 and having to start over again. You know they just catch you with the higher purchase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they catch you with a higher purchase and every month you have to pay a bill and then you're digging yourself into a different problem now mm. which is a financial problem and that's one of the, one of the most stressful things for anybody to go through as well too on top of that you're not mm. with the person that you're with they leave and run off with somebody so now you you hung and dry there and now you ain't ready for love because you're still kind of gain you're over the experience that or that still happened, hoping or still hoping and holding Boy. on to and not that it's a bad thing, but, but of course, women are a little bit more emotional than mm -hmm. men. They feel more, which is, I believe, is a good thing because they get balanced there. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? But so, if I tell me how to preach. I see. No, no, <laughs> he, no, you, you got me you talk yeah, good. You, you, need to, good. you need to create a, a, a pastor <laughs> a, a because pastor you're, giving, you're giving some <laughs> really, really uh, Thanos gems tonight. Wow. Listen, wow, wow. David, the, the Vina says God provides and my peace is more important. I'm out of there. Joseph Melville says, says, imagine she starts dating and bringing the new man over for lunch. Yeah, that's, now, that's when you draw any line a little bit there. I, no, I, but. Yeah, that's when you draw any line. No, nah, but. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I would want to leave the space. So now you have a whole stranger living in the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a like whole damn stranger. Like you barely is a stranger. You're going to know you for 12 years, right? Oh, They're your in-laws. So now you bring it home, somebody. It's like, no, absolutely not. That's crossing the line for sure, but she definitely needs to leave mm -hmm. for her peace, mm -hmm. for her future for sure. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is I'm not leaving right away. I need to catch myself first. Mm -hmm. Now, as you mentioned, supposed to take a year. Mm -hmm. I need to understand, okay, I'm here and I'm going to give myself, let's just say three to six months and I'm going to put myself in a position <laughs> where I would leave maximum six months. I'm, oh, I'm, Lord, I'm thinking. You were born. You were born. Would you want back any money and to put out for the thing, please? And who are to get that money? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Unless it's a court battle, because That's what asking it? for it, oh, nobody, it nobody gonna give back nobody no money. How oh, you get it back? <laughs> nobody gonna give back no money. You could want it, you could state yeah. verbally, but really and truly, how she get that back? Unless it's legally. Unless it's legally. She, she has to pay for work. <laughs> she has to be a girl. She people. And you know she ain't no. But you then, know she ain't no paperwork because she ain't thinking. Obviously, it's love, love is love, is love. Well, and love is authentic and genuine. So maybe you know she's like, okay, babe, hold that. Okay, babe, hold that. She helps. She assisted. She. I think. I think. Let me get any number, guys. If you wanna call in and give your two cents, of course. If you wanna say hi to Samson and you know just say hi to him like anything you could do that as well seven two four four two four nine i'm surprised i really thought you would have just come in here for 15 20 minutes i'm here for the whole show if i know show. that i had a cream of foot i ain't cream it <laughs> i just put on a little super here <laughs> i'm here for the whole show for sure <laughs> all right yes Listen, you could call seven two four fantasia has a song mm. sometimes you got to lose hmm. to win again hmm. listen when that that song became so real hmm. to me after i lost of there are people on this life who would have known my story. Mm -hmm. I wrote a book. If you read books, it's on Amazon. It's called What Had Happened Was. If you like to swipe, it's on Kindle as well on Amazon. Love me. And yeah, and you had to say it what like, well, what, what had happened, happened was. I love yeah, name. Yeah. Because That's that. yeah, it, it was um a movie, for lack of a better word. And 
I pray, I fast, I jump, I skip. I do all kind of thing for the person to come back. Yeah. And that didn't happen. Yeah. And my mother was the one she had to tell me, you're praying for something, but you're seeing that it's not going to happen. Yeah. Now, we ain't saying God is not God and God can't do, right? But there was a time when I had to, I had to look at the evidence yeah. and make a, a, a decision for Janissa. Yeah. And I thought I was going to die. Wow. Because I invested everything. Yeah. Every part of me was invested in that relationship. Yeah. Everything. I left with three tracks on my phone and no dignity. I didn't have nothing. And I said, but how, how, I going on, how am I going to pick up myself? How am I going to redeem myself? You're already a Christian. John, this happened to you. Yeah. Um, you need a testimony and a half in order to survive the church story out here. And if I didn't change my thinking, I would have just end up thinking I, I, I lost. But when you focus, when you cry, you cry. I just tell people whatever you're feeling, feel it. You need to say how you're feeling. Feel it, cry, shout, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Get it all out. Yeah. And then you watch yourself in the mirror and you say, all right, we're going again. Thank you for putting the link in the comment section, hey, Aaron. And that's, that's sometimes the scary thing about life, eh? starting over and Bro, build, building over, especially from scratch. from scratch and being with somebody and, and accepting that this is the person I would like to be with for from the rest of my life. From scratch. From scratch and then having to start. Over you start. I tell, I tell people, That's listen, I'm fed up telling you story. Hello, my name is Janice Aranda Sintele. I am, I am 4'8", I am 174 pounds. I have a child. I was, I was, I was, I was, and I'm tired to tell this story. So I'm just like, I have to tell it again. Hmm. I have to start over again. Hmm. And the thing is, I feel like I actually win it now though. That's why a lot of people stay in relationships, they're not happy and as well. Yeah. The fear of starting over telling begins you. to consume your brain so much and it begins I'm to trickle you. away mm -hmm. and make you feel less of a person and make you mm -hmm. start building particular insecurities that you may not recognize. I am telling and you. And then eventually it becomes so big that to hell with your happiness. Hmm. This man preaching, I know. Uh, you have you know? anything to take up about offering anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that I think you offering. You a little dust or no? <laughs> Speaking of, speaking of relationships and women, how do you deal? I'm sure that you would have a lot of women screaming at Samson. Ah, you, you know, you is the girl them bubblegum. How do you deal with <laughs> relationships? Are you in one? You're not in one? What, what are, where, where is Samson in terms of relationships? Um, so I had a particular relationship. I, everyone know I, I think had. it was public, but it's public. Person and I are not together anymore. Oh, not, really? Yeah, we're not together. We're, we're about four months now. So now they know. I didn't know. Oh. So I didn't have it public. But that's real fresh. I just mind I my think, business. But you know what? I think three, people... Three months. Yeah. I think people would suspect because I you would know. have been... You know, you would see her wrong, stuff like that, stuff like that. But um, I hope this is not awkward. Of course, you're not going to say what... Well, I feel awkward. You could have, give the boy a little text, say... X, no, y, and you know, no, no, no. I, I, love, I, I love the authenticity. That's right. a problem saying that word. Okay. So no. what I was going to I ask, prefer, I prefer it be real and honest. If I, if I don't feel comfortable, I would say I don't answer the question. Okay. Right. 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 Nice. Thank you. Thank you. What I was going to ask is how would your person or how do they deal with girls screaming at you? Because I know, especially children, maybe children they scream at you. Yeah. I almost get in trouble at five years old, run up, hug my foot. Oh Lord, and she don't want to let go. And the. The father was like, who's this fella? <laughs> to, the, to the woman. <laughs> who's this fella here? And she uh, had to explain that the boy does go eh eh at the time. I used to go eh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I, I don't even know. When I look back, I was like, what are you doing here? But, um, okay, no. <laughs> he, he didn't know. He was like, who, who? I don't know what you're talking about. She pulled up a video. Oh, the stupid man. Oh. <laughs> That's how he introduced, That's how he introduced <laughs> me to... To him know who I am. Oh, that's stupid man. Right. And then the conversation is trickled away from there. But but, but in, in relationship, is it easy? No, it's not. To deal with fame? Because let me tell you something. No, it's not. You may not know because I know we from, we how many years apart? We probably like 40. 28. No, we're not 20, nothing. 
<laughs> we ain't trying to nothing yeah, years. What is the Wait, what you we're years. not 20 something years First, apart. Hold on, I don't want to, I don't want to burst your bubble. You're 38? Hello, I am, we, I'm talking. 28? Hi, JD. Or are you 28? 28. There is nothing wrong. I wish people listen to grow. There's nothing wrong. And when the girl called you auntie the other day, you nearly, you oh gosh, now an auntie, you can't go. I was a, I, all I'm saying is, oh no, ladies, auntie. I feel a and little she look like an auntie as well too. Good. But what I'm saying is, to be, to be able to grow old is a, is a blessing, JD. Don't be ashamed of that. I am not ashamed, but it's song weird when it's, he's a full grown man and then you say, I'm 20 something years old. You can put it on each other. You can say, yeah, I'm 20 something years old, don't you? Mm. We had to figure that match out. Put out there. You understand? We, 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 we need to land a but snippet and clip in, you know? It's hard to deal with because I, I often, anytime I experience something with someone, I like to put myself in their perspective as well. Before I answer, sometimes men That's just... That's very mature. Men, I appreciate that. Men just so stuck up on an answer and I'm like, yeah, no, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I like to put myself in your shoes as well. How would I react if I'm with a woman? Let me get a round of applause there for me, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bang, 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 so, bang, bang, bang. I put myself in the, the person that I was with your shoes. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't complain to me, mm -hmm. but she did... You know, body language says a, a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes women would say or not say it because it's my career. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, what am I to do about mm -hmm. it? Maybe how I greet the people, uh, change how I how I, how I, how mm. long I speak to them. Um, but it it was difficult mm -hmm. because personal time wasn't there. So anywhere oh. I go, mm -hmm. um, it's just a bunch of kids, and it's casting with the kids, mm -hmm. right? Like if kids run off and like, hey, <laughs> you know they're so innocent in what they do now. So so it's like I can't get vexed at kids. The other time I went on and I spent, um, so I was supposed to stay there for about three hours, and I spent like two hours and a half. Just kids just keep coming and and you're not wow. because this picture they want this coming, autograph coming and coming and sometimes I just always say. I look at myself normal. Mm -hmm. I just doing videos of people. Correct. But they view me in a different light, which I still ain't get mm -hmm. accustomed to. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am absolutely appreciative of the fact that it could resonate with people so much so that they, you know, they come up to me or whatever. But in terms of personal life, it's it's a bit tricky. It had a lot of places I didn't go mm -hmm. because I don't know what would have happened. Whoa, like, wow. oh gosh, I, Whoa. I, I live with exhausted today. Like a diddy party. No, JD. Definitely not. <laughs> not a diddy party. I don't go to diddy parties <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Listen, but, um, listen. I would tell JD when I first started dating JD, mm -hmm. I let him know from the the onset yeah. that um, I value our story more than somebody that can disappear in our story. So the, the, the people on the street, while we respect them and we, we, you know, they make us what they are, to, what we are to a point, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that when you close mm -hmm. your door and turn your key, that you are happy. Yeah. So I would tell, you know, no fun yeah. is supposed to cause unrest yeah. in your relationship. Yeah. And if that starts happening, then you need to maturely, because I don't believe that, that fans are always innocent yeah right yeah. well so you some, remember you uh, see hey, hey, hey. we are all I like to look at, we are all creatives that I, I'm, right? I'm not finished my point go ahead right you could always brush it aside oh gosh they just wanted a they, oh gosh they just want and i understand but there has to be some sort of respect for the fact that you're in something yeah no but the person that you're with mm. Right, supposed to understand that it comes with a particular what? territory and no, a responsibility hold on, hold to on. your hold on, hold on. support team. Hold on. Watch me, let me no, Jamie, hold on, let me, hold on, on man. No, Just I'm not, let me finish I'm, now. No, I was I you right, jumped continue. in. Go ahead, go ahead. Bang, so bang, while bang, we are all bang, creative bang. and it comes with the territory, we not say no. Of course it does. Yeah. But because it comes with the territory, that's like people saying, Well, you put something out there, so you have to expect yeah i, yeah, I don't know I, you're going hold with. on hold on i don't necessarily just agree with that across the board yeah yeah i i have this pie in the sky dream that we could all be better people <laughs> like i don't see why because you can't say something you have to say something bad yeah. i don't believe in that i don't subscribe to that yeah you know so yes 
um, you, you, you know you're putting yourself with a celebrity. Yeah. So what comes with it is sharing that person. But how are you sharing that person? Yeah. You have to create the boundaries. It can't just be that a fan gets to do whatever they want to do, no, how they see, want to no. do it, okay, and when so, they no, want no, to like, do it. Can, may I know? No, the boundaries may not be the boundaries find, that yeah. you understand. Yes, sir, so watch this. We all know it, all right? Yeah. You in the public eye. Uh -huh. we've, we've been there. I've been there from since I can remember, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when you go to eat something. Yeah. When you go to eat something yeah. and a fan comes up, most people, and this is local because it's different in America. America kind of a little more harsh. Now nah, eating, wherever and wherever. Because we are Caribbean and how we raise, somebody come and say they want a picture, we are not going to see... Can't Can you see, you see me eating dinner? here with my yeah. daughter? Yeah. Or some kind of thing? It's, we, that's not, we're not even, we mannerly. We're yeah. not even about that life. But if you were the wrong person and you don't understand that your space now becomes the space of everybody else own when you go out with your partner, so, they have to understand. And that's Judy, the thing, I understand both mm, perspectives. Because she's, yeah, but she, it, he is saying it in a way that doesn't put boundaries in this space and that's no, no the bound no the boundaries are uh -huh. right yeah if uh okay women used to women women would run up on me and act like they don't see my wife well not nisa because nisa is also no okay in my in my marriage before yeah my wife wasn't a, a popular artist she just everybody know her because of me yeah and back then women would run up to me and they may act like if they didn't see my wife yeah you understand and i would say did you not see so and so here? Yeah. And there I said the boundaries, but the boundaries can be nobody can run upon me because I outside. Of course not. Yeah. But, but, so, what is, but what with Nisa, different. Is, what women is, is run up on her and act like they don't even see me. So because she her own, can, she's she own person. Can we clarify personality. what run up on me? Is that true and more? A run up means. <laughs> It's true enough. <laughs> I run up means, you know, hey, excitement. And you say, ah, you run up and you, oh, God, look, JD. Oh, look, Samson. Uh, because people act like if they know you. Know. Yo, people yeah. act like if they yeah. know you. I get pinched you know, pinch by my neck at the time. Oh, hey, Charlie, you can stop getting in trouble. <laughs> and it was, a, it was a serious pinch. Like, I turned around. <laughs> Honestly, I was upset. But when I turned around, I realized it was a... There's a lady, you know, in a, in a, approaching her seventies. They mean well. I was like, you know what? Let me not, let me not respond. Tell you, you can't stop giving trouble. Tell yeah. So I say that to say this, right? Yeah. When choosing a partner, and you are in the limelight, that person had to be on a next level of understanding, like yeah. Marshall White. Exactly. You see how she. Yeah. Both of them is like almost like the one type of, you know what I'm saying? It's a difficult thing, but as a man, you always have to find ways to make your woman feel special as well. So that scenario explained. Hey, this is my wife here as well. Yeah, this is my wife. Right. Then then that brings a little bit of more value to the situation where... But if you're with somebody who do you who watch don't my, understand, do it will understand. be difficult. It honestly will be difficult. You can't be with mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's probably not it was going to harsher. Yeah. It was some harsher, but whoever I'm with, mm -hmm. this comes with me as well. Correct. Yeah, so it's, it's, I can't. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. This is this is this is a part of 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 the process of what I do. She, People would see her, they would come up to you, and we may have to sacrifice our time that we're gonna share mm -hmm. for people in public. Correct. And I've grown accustomed to it, and I also say it in the earlys mm -hmm. so that nobody can come. Eight months a year, and it's not easy because women no, watching you and and them lo they love what you, you know. Yeah. So they're watching you now and then so check your check your girlfriend or your if you your intended. You know what I oh, like? she watching you with love and you know what I so. like? I know you know what I like? That you said what you said without understanding what you said. Because when the woman says what you just said, you try to make them think that you didn't say what you just said. But when you what? catch it, you tell me. What yo, in the world? I, when you catch it, you let me know. That, eh? When you catch it, you let me know. Yo, I dropped that. Yo, I didn't. Go, go, go. When you catch it, you go let me know. It's all, it's all we just get tired of it. Yeah, they just try to make you feel like you're crazy, but he just say what it is. You when just I said, said what it is. Love. Uh -huh. I'm speaking about. Uh -huh. Not I want to go and sleep with you one time. They I need to love see the and appreciate you. So anyway, they love and appreciate. It's just you. like if you're dating a musician, you need to know We're gonna... about studio time and the hours of the day. Not is not the normal eight to four. You had to know who you with. 724, we're going to close these four clone lines because we're coming on to closing thoughts in a little bit. 724-4249, all right? Of course, some certified is here. So yeah. we're, not, we're not going to talk to Ezekiel at all. 
Well, Mommy, the, daddy, not we can, we can, we can talk it, to anybody. And Ezekiel, isn't he... Is that you, you, or it's like a filter unless you don't want to give so, out these secrets? So. No, 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 it's a filter for sure. People, I feel like people understand it's a filter. Most men don't wear filters, or no? Do, the, oh, my God. The, <laughs> when you catch it, you go tell me. When you catch it, you go tell me. Hey. I was telling Nisa that <laughs> someone, when I put up the post, he was coming, mm-hmm. and the woman literally is telling me to tell Ezekiel, <laughs> right? Yeah. That... You know, don't <laughs> let him. Oh yeah, don't let the boy come because I say I hope he leaves his his brother home. Yeah. And she said no, don't let him come because Nisa he go throw dumb things. So I say you know he's. <laughs> yeah. So she thinking he's real. Yeah. So and then when people are re- referencing some of the content, they would, they would say yeah, you see that one with your grandmother, or you see that one with your mother, or mm-hmm. you see that one with your father. Like I, I obviously know it's me now. Yeah, yeah. But I enjoy the fact that I'm able to build a story that people are invested in to the point where mm-hmm. okay these characters have their own personality i feel mm-hmm. like that was my job in, initially mm-hmm. that i was going for to create something so believable it becomes you know a, a part of the content but with easy killers there is definitely a filter but that character <laughs> i had a character for like seven years or not you know what i like Serious? about what, yeah what, so well, how come it go to older youtube videos like that character the same filter everything or just no 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 not the filter is this this um had full face a bed Ronald, <laughs> trying to do his Ronald says Ronald, I can't knows, believe JD didn't know it was a filter I knew it was a filter yeah. but sometimes I mean sometimes it just looks so yeah you yeah. know what what I, get, I appreciate you know? about this conversation is um life is a strange um series of uh, things like yeah. we can be so many people in our one lifetime yeah and as JD was saying in the beginning of the conversation when he first logged onto your content, he couldn't identify. Yeah. But then now you are older, he's older, he can now identify. Because I'm a, as a parent. Yeah, I find you're jumping ahead, in. I find it's now Wednesday. Go ahead, go ahead. You're, you're doing a little... I really real love doing a little di- thing. Di- di- dynamic. <laughs> I really love it. What I love is that sometimes people need these spaces yeah. so that we respect um, the human yeah. being. Yeah. Sometimes we get caught up in thinking that all we are is what we do. Exactly. Or a picture that we share or a moment that we share is all that we are. That's why I'm enjoying this because I'm, I'm often in character. Oh. Character. Right, right, so right, right. So right. last interview I probably did was maybe years and years ago. Oh, other wow. than some, of, some phone calls mm-hmm. to yes. some news outlets. So you're always doing characters when you go for interview? Um, no, no, no. No, he's saying Meaning that's, that's where he always, always is, is now. Yeah, right, right. Mentally, no. Mm-hmm. Um, and not be, being able to, to share, share particular thoughts. Yeah, that's part of yourself. So some people, that's a clung. He's yeah. a clung. Yeah. And they would think, I do this. Mm-hmm. As, as the guy said, <laughs> show it, man. Yeah, that, that oh show it, man. Gosh. So they would, they, they would look at it and think that is my full personality. That's right, that's right. So when it's time to have a mature conversation and people realize how I speak. Uh, yeah, I did right. one and he spoke so well, eh, Andra? <laughs> Well, Andy, you know, we say that, but he's a good, he's a nice, he's a smart boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd say, I'd say radio, <laughs> I'd say radio help for, for sure in terms of a, a little bit of the maturity side of me. You did radio? Still a, no, he was on 90, yeah. are you still there? I was on Boom first and then 96.7, now left. Oh, I, I knew you was on 96. I missed that whole train. Why no, did I you leave? Was um, I was on Boom first. Mm-hmm. Um, it just didn't work out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I left to go to Red. I went right. to Red for like maybe... A year three, or something? Not three years. I, I was boom years? for like maybe six months with hands with neon links in the morning. I missed, I missed the boom. Yeah. I but mean, I knew you was on red. red. Yeah. Mm. You used to do mid morning, 10 or something, right? 12 to 3 p.m. 12 to 3. Um, Sundays would be 6 to 9 a.m. So radio didn't work out with you? What? what? Um, no, it didn't work out because um, it wasn't me. Mm. It was it was, it was was taken away mm-hmm. from what was me, which is I love doing content now. Mm-hmm. Radio mm-hmm. takes mm-hmm. away, because we do radio <laughs> now drive time, yeah. 4 yeah. p.m. to 8 p.m. Guys, we do drive time 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Sky 99.5 FM, Nisa myself. But it, even if it's just four hours, for some reason... It's not, it's not, it's not four hours, because when yeah. you're starting to get ready. So let's just say you're working from one time to one time. Four to eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Saturday get ready by two. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. right. Three. That's right. When you finish at eight, you're mm-hmm. not gonna leave one time. Nope. You, you might linger around, talk to some colleagues mm-hmm. real quickly, mm-hmm. then boss out, and you're home by at least nine, half nine. That's it. Yeah. So it's not just four hours; it's like mm-hmm. seven hours. But we realize that. Yeah. Into the journey. Yeah, yeah. and then there's content and time that would have been taken up. Yeah, a lot of gone. Years. So that content. was that was the thing for me, and 
I was very uh, consistent in terms of Fridays at mm -hmm. the time. I, I always used to do a YouTube video on Fridays, mm -hmm. and I cannot miss that at all. <laughs> and then we began again, and, and I worked out Monday to Thursday and Sunday with the radio. Yeah. They wanted Monday to Friday. I said, nah, Friday, nah. I didn't do my YouTube videos. They yeah. may not have understood at the time. Mm -hmm. they, they were nice to me at Reddit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were nice to me for sure. But it took away crucial time. Yeah. That's like I wouldn't be able to do a video a day if mm -hmm. I was still working mm -hmm. on radio mm -hmm. because the time that's going to take up, mm -hmm. and then radio is a different business topic topic for, for discussion. Radio and, and, and podcast is two different things. Things. two different things you can't there, yep. are, so there are a lot of rules there are a lot of laws yep yep and you can be a little more freer you can be free on your I own platform just eat fry baby yeah you can't eat in the Eggs. studio you can't or Whoa. drink you can't eat in the studio you one time i can catch you to the studio you can only swallow your saliva you can only swallow your saliva in the studio <laughs> eat nothing <laughs> so so Let, mm -hmm. i want to um of course, guys we're going to go just a little bit over but not too long right because mm -hmm. we know samson is very busy he's very yeah. tired and we, we Super, I stay, right? super happy that he stayed this <laughs> yeah. long. It had fried bacon, you did with some air. Because I ain't cooking nothing. Now. It had cheese, if you want that. Two questions. I'm going to give the first one first, so I don't forget. And then let me ask this one now, right? This one now is, do you feel like, oh gosh, this thing could just end tomorrow in terms of people might think like, but tomorrow, um, my content could start to go wrong. They could get fed up at Ezekiel. They could get fed up at the family. Then what I could do? Is that a nervousness there? It's good. It's good to think about it, but it's never good to let it consume your mind. So I, I do think about it. Hence the reason why I started to branch off in the business. I have mm -hmm. certified scoop. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, I began th thinking in my head, of course, I'm not going to do this forever. Mm -hmm. and right. A day will come where I'm going to stop or transition into a bigger form of entertainment, hopefully. Mm -hmm. For those who know, what is Certified Scoop? Certified Scoop is my ice cream business. At the moment, we have a line of lollies. Mm -hmm. Of course, I intend on expanding it as much as possible. But uh, at this current time, we're in various supermarkets nationwide in Trinidad and Tobago as well. Um, so what we what we plan on doing is, 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 is bringing a product closer to people that, you know, we, we all could love, which is ice cream. Um, so that was that was a plan of mine a couple of years ago. Is what could I do other right. than content and commercials for companies? And um, came up with the idea of, of certified scoop along with my business partner Rajiv Singh as, as the manager, my, my manager as well. Mm -hmm. And um, um, that's the thing, eh? Like business and creative so different because while I came up with scoop and had to do some of the groundwork in the earlies. I realized how dread business was. I got yeah. a severe anxiety attack and end up in the hospital Ooh. for wow. hours and hours. Um, they gave me Xanax. Wow. My heart rate was one like fifty nine. What was Re it? Resting heart rate. Mm -hmm. What was it? Um, overworking boy. Mm -hmm. Like overworking, lack of sleep, two three hours sleep. You're not good. And you think you're more efficient when you get less sleep and more hours working, and it's destroying your body. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one that have the healthiest of lifestyle eating wise. Mm -hmm. So when you're not feeding your body, the things that it need eventually gonna take a toll and you know. Mm -hmm. So what started happening was, you know, I was like, yeah, work, hmm. right. I home, like I, I just be home, mm -hmm. I home, I work in. Like my mom does think I just, just be home <laughs> relaxing. And, no, I work in mm -hmm. on my content, on ads, on scoop. Mm -hmm. And all three of them have to function because, you know, it's, it's, it's different aspects of who I am. So mm -hmm. if one lacks, the other one comes. Samson, I go on and I buy a certified scoop and the lolly melt. I they may think it's my fault. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it it may be something. <laughs> something <laughs> else. Yeah, the lolly melt. The one time I see that Samson the lolly melt or the lolly flat in the supermarket. Um oh my or that God. supermarket. Things like that happen. That's a part of the business. Yeah. Not just my yeah, yeah. product, other products as well. But um um I was working. So I thought I could do everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. And even in the early I was delivering some of the lollies which people may not know. Mm. Oh, you um, was doing delivery yourself? Yeah, I had to put dry ice in a in, in my in my vehicle and deliver it to some to some supermarkets. Wow. Um, as well too. Which I is, admire the drive, but you yeah. you you can't uh, overwork, yeah. I overwork. Then I realized okay, they, they definitely can't do this. So then we upgraded to get some workers, some distribution or uh, outlets <laughs> or whatever. But in terms of the panic attack. It just came out of nowhere. Head started feeling lightheaded, mm -hmm. 
heart rate start to go up i looked at my friends mm. and i was like that's it which you is my, you're gonna my go. neighbor i was mm. bare back in a beach pants we we'll run outside my friend um which is my neighbor was washing their car mm-hmm. i said spray me with the hose i just wanted to be distracted we... he think i was joking because i know beach pants and bareback oh. and he knows a clung mm. and that's the thing sometimes i say everybody all the balance now. yeah yeah innocently yeah? Mm-hmm. like he he he, he no fault of uh, his because mm-hmm. I, I always joking around with him, him. so i said spray with the hose he laughing but he goes so am i I spray you know it's like so he thinking that's like no way i feel like i get a heart attack here oh my god and my heart i could have feel it through my chest and i saw um i saw particular i saw faces flash in front of my 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 face i will mm. say this right you know me may your soul rest in peace but i saw a picture of drew and that flashed in front of my face right. mm. and i got even more scared and hmm. basically it put me in a, in a position where I needed to go in the hospital. Going in the hospital, at the time, the person that I was with um, had to drop me. She, she take like 10 minutes to reverse back. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, it wasn't funny at the time, it was yeah. funny after. I was like, oh gosh, just park the car, let me go inside. So when I went in um, the health center, um, Gulf View, went, they said, what happened? I said, I feel like I'm catching a heart attack. Went in, and then the machine, you know, peep, peep, peep. And then it just keep getting faster. And I looked at my heart rate, it was 159. And I was mm, concerned. Yeah, I can see the face now. Mm-hmm. Right. I was concerned. And when you lay down in the hospital, you see like blue lights and you see white lights and you think you see heaven. But sometimes it's, it's the light reflecting from the ceiling mm-hmm. in, your, in your eye. And that's why some people say they feel like they see heaven and they see a white light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the hospital was white and blue now. And then basically what happened from there, I stayed there for a couple of hours. They gave me Xanax. The Xanax wasn't working. Nothing was working. I was on drips, mm-hmm. all kind of stuff. And then uh, I realized I was like, "Yo, I'm overworking myself real bad." I spoke to a doctor. I told him my lifestyle, detail for detail, and he said, "Yeah, you're suffering from anxiety." I said, "Me, <laughs> anxiety? I don't know what that. What do you mean anxiety? I don't have that." Hmm. And then uh, he's like, "No, you, def- you definitely have it. <clears throat> Although you may be a happy person, you definitely have it." And I understood a little bit better the different aspects of anxiety and it's good to t- take time for yourself. It's Absolutely. Good to- let me let me tell Love you something. I did not know ex- I, um, anxiety was such a serious thing until Boy. I met Nisa. Let me tell you something, bro. We would be in the hospital every weekend because she thinks can she have an heart attack. And let me tell you what not to say. Calm down. Well, I see. Yeah. What's going on with you? Why, not why something you can tell why, somebody who This is why I love the conversation because the... the the topic of anxiety, mm. people kind of think it has to be brought on by a lion running you down. Yeah. And you have on a sheepskin. Let me check yep. ocean. Mm-hmm. Sometimes life does just yeah, put you. Let's has, keep doing it. This. It has nothing to yeah. do. I have I used to go to the doctor, as JD said, almost every every two days. Yeah. And when it started to get really serious, because he would say, Babe, you know, you're sure we need to go because you know what the process is gonna be. They're gonna send you back home, they're gonna ask you what you're worried about, yeah. you're gonna tell them, and then they're gonna tell you your electrolytes low or something or something. Yeah. So by the time I was um uh what's the word boy, diagnosed. Mm-hmm. Over and over and over and over, I realized that um, I had to take control. Have to. Mm-hmm. So people can tell yeah. you what they want. Oh, eat yeah. ice cream, Nagil. Yeah. Go and eat her doubles and call yourself. Yeah, yeah your two foot. Yeah, your job. Nah. And everybody tries to just, they think it's about things. Yeah. But, you know, you have to be the one and to so, center yeah, some, zen out yourself. It happened so unexpected because after the first one, when I was like, I don't have anxiety. Mm-hmm. I pre- proceeded to get five other panic attacks in the space of, in the space yeah. of one week. Yeah. I was like, what is going on with me? That's the fastest I've ate vegetables. Let me ask you a question. Somebody <laughs> somebody wants to know on? who is the person behind the camera. I think he said it the earlier. Jeeves, the Jeeves it's, it's His manager. manager. manager yeah. Because I appreciate the angles of the camera, etc. Yeah, so I, <laughs> funny story, <laughs> Rajiv. Hey, and Rajiv boy, um, I'm not too sure if you watch it, but I just always tell him, I say, boy, you're patient. Because... <laughs> Sometimes he might shoot a frame, even get the angle correct. I'll be like, no, holy camera this way, bro. Mm. Holy camera this way, bro. So he's learning along the way. Let me, because let me ask, that's, that's not his strength now. Let me ask your editor's question, right? Yeah. How, you see, I never, I, bro, I can edit. I can edit my skin off, right? Yeah. yeah. I know what's happening, you know, but I, I refuse to believe or understand. Okay, so you do a line, 
do you do one take of the entire scene? Of the entire character and then come back and fully, you know, you Absolutely. do put one, 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 one. Nah. So I, I don't write. I just get the idea. So if I say I want to do an idea on people um, skipping a line, mm -hmm. I do have a script. I just Bro. like to flow. You build it. You build it as you go. You do yeah. one line. You will do one whole line of a scene and okay. then the next and then put it together. So how so you remember it so precise? So I do one one character. So if 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 this idea have three characters in it, I'm gonna do one character. I'll start off. Um, I might zone out for a little bit, but mm. it's like me just connecting mm -hmm. the puzzle together. That's yeah. insane. And the reason why I do like to write because I feel like sometimes some of the things that I've said so off mm. off topic, and something that I may not think about when I'm writing. Mm -hmm. Um, for example, the the video with the um ashes and eating the fish the ending was not supposed to happen that wasn't the idea i was just gonna fry the fish and leave it but python the fish at the end was grand was mistake. Just there. it was a mistake it was so a mistake. Like when you said when you said <laughs> yeah when you said it was a mistake with the first shot and then when i did it over i added grand yeah, add, in it. right yeah. so for me like i tell me if i'm wrong so when you say oh <laughs> Was that in the script or did you just choose a name? It wasn't in the... So sometimes the, sim <laughs> the, the simplest things just take so long. Um, so I shot that idea by my mom. And I was like, Ma, give me, give me a old man name there. Yeah. And she was like, use, use your grandfather's name. I said, no, no, no. And I used my grandfather's name. Give me a name. Give me a name. And then um, a lot of names just started ping off. I was like, I'll go with Earl. Let's highlight Shanice's comment. She's saying thanks to Samson. So she said, I had a near, I had that near death experience last year. Really thought that it was, really thought that it was it. You're my chest, it I'm seeing, mm -hmm. my chest and my back was tight. I couldn't breathe. ECG came back good. They yeah. said it was acid reflux, mm -hmm. but I was just taking a lot. I was taking on a lot at the moment and used to get anxiety bad. Take it easy, guys. Don't study it too much. Everything will fall in place. God is in control. You took it off. Oh, sorry, sorry, babe. I thought I finished. What it, is in control? Happy you are alive and well to make us laugh, Samson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, guys. We're still going to open the line real quick. Seven two four four two four nine. Before we leave, Samson, we we held him long enough. We do need to give closing thoughts, huh? Yeah, we're going to yeah. give closing thoughts on the topic. Topic. But let me ask you this real quick. All right. Um, for a young person that may be watching this, would you say that content creation is a feasible occupation or career um we know that trinidad and where youtube is concerned it may be different for you because your followers is what your algorithm may look different yeah but for the regular person that facebook is not monetized i don't know if tiktok probably monetized yet instagram not monetized would you say sir it's a feasible yeah i'm going to fix that something like that is it a feasible career would you tell a young person you know what go after that so i have i don't want to make sure this this is carefully said Mm -hmm. Because before I started making any type of money, I had to put like over five, six years mm -hmm. of doing videos for free. Ooh. And that's from love. Because wow. I love doing what I did. Wow. Right? So I might get one job here, I might get one job there. While I was doing videos for them five years, I was working in Chicago Health Center. I worked in extra food supermarket. Right. I worked with my um my um my dad as well too. Um stepfather, but dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um I had to do all of that and the videos at the same time and hold on to doing the videos hmm. um which was which was definitely important and after that, that five-year period um things started to happen where you know you're putting the work eventually mm -hmm. you're going mm -hmm. to see the results some people take longer than some some mm -hmm. people may not take longer than some but to right. answer your questions is absolutely feasible mm -hmm. absolutely um in many different aspects mm -hmm. uh i get paid from youtube um, mm -hmm. Also, I, I do YouTube and I can in, in a long time I just upload shorts. But yeah. I do YouTube and around the sixth year, I met my friend who was my neighbor. His name is Devon. Devon is a neighbor. Yeah, Devon living in the same yard as me. Oh. Devon, Devon, Devon next door. Yeah. Are you same serious? Yard. Yeah, same well, yard. Well, it was best friends or something. Like same that. yard. Devon. Same <laughs> yard. It's like it's like ten seconds away from outside. Wow. Right, right. So um, he he helped me monetize YouTube. So they got him pay from there. Um, TikTok, I didn't understand, but for me, it's like I, I just upload to a platform and the work that I put out will translate into it being feasible in mm -hmm. many different aspects of advertising, shows, hosting, business, 
Um, so it has so many categories that could come out. Of. Correct. Before, what I used to do, I used to have meet and greets. I used to do some t-shirts, certified meet king, certified queen, advice, no? mm-hmm. certified this, certified that, and people will come out and buy some t-shirts. I would do like maybe a thousand t-shirts. People Whoa. will come out, they will purchase. And these kids and I used to buy t-shirts that fit in them till the knee. <laughs> and when I go back home, it's one day I was emotional. First time I cry. And all these kids and I give me some Bristol boards and all, all like all kind of different <laughs> things. Samson, I, I hope my envelope, I see money in the envelope. One set of ones and fives and twenties. <laughs> It's like what going on here? So Thank cool. you so much. Tell Ling Ling I say hello. Aww. Tell tell Tony Montana I say hello. And then I was like, what going on here? That's wow. my first meet and greet. Then a year later, I did the next one. A year later, I did the next one. I did three in the span of what I'm what I'm doing, and that was able to help me um, invest back into the the creation, the content creation that I do, props, all of that. And then I have to take it to the next step now. Other than uh, doing meet and greets t-shirts what are other aspects that could be feasible mm-hmm. with what i'm doing mm-hmm. once you understand that then even eventually you start a you chip away you chip away mm-hmm. and you're gonna get a, a big break soon because i didn't think i would i, I didn't even <laughs> no thought in my head would think certified scoop will happen mm-hmm. working for some of the brands mm-hmm. that, that i'm working for would happen i didn't think that would that was gonna happen at all and my the, main well, focus the was the love yeah and you have to do you have to do it for the love because if anything else mm-hmm. is the mm-hmm. is the is the is the pull is, is the, the pull yeah and, and and that pull not there you get burned out you get burned out dread why you don't use a dsl instead because you look like you use a cell phone well, yeah uh, yeah this is your phone now right yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is a max of 15 or something so why what, why don't use a big budget camera all the time instead of so i tend to use that for ads alone but what i realized i i actually did that a, a mm-hmm. transition to using cameras and for some reason it didn't feel it, the same way it, yeah the, the viewers didn't feel the same way yeah, yeah that, that's, what that's something saying. we learned as well there's a like there's something about the cell phone for that it's a point things. of view it's yeah. a personal certain feeling mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. It, yeah it seems natural it seems organic sometimes when somebody say like a lot of cameras they know it produce now yeah so it depends on what you're doing like it depends it depends on what you're doing it have things that you you definitely need to use a camera you can't use a phone to accomplish certain tasks. Yeah, I mm-hmm. love I love how you um. Take a call. Oh, good night, okay. good night, everybody. Okay. Good, good, night. Night. good night. Good night. Hi, this is Jacob here. Hi, I have Jacob. a little feedback to give. Why nobody read any comments on YouTube? Oh, oh the YouTube. comments on YouTube, man. I'm so of sorry, course. we. Thank you. You know what? No problem. No problem. Um, yeah. JD is Jacob boy from Jacob and Nish Vlogs. Oh, what are you saying, Jay? <laughs> Gosh, boy. Well, we had to yeah, have somebody better. man those comments because we on just this one. It's supposed, I know. To, it's supposed to come through over here, no, but I'm yeah. not seeing any YouTube um, comments. Sorry about that, Jay. I know. I oh, look, know. I don't see anything. All right, I don't see anything, Jay. Is it um, to, my brother. to big up work? Sorry, go ahead. Good night, brother. Good night. I, just, I would have spoke to you about four years ago because I hosted the, um, the YouTube panel discussion in Loney Public Library. Yeah. Back when I used to liaise with Devon and those type of things. Yeah. And as I was saying in the comment section earlier, like mm-hmm. knowing the way as a content creator, most people wouldn't understand. Mm-hmm. And we, I would have hosted one of the first panel discussions with Renelli, Gabby, Kimberly, Kojo at the time. And I wanted the surprise pop up with you. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing the, the first meet and greet you had. And I was like, wow. <laughs> he can not fit in the library because if he came in the library, we didn't have space to hold over a hundred <laughs> people and your following was over a thousand wow. and people yeah. doesn't understand. Mm-hmm. Like, JD, I would have met you in so many places and we always stand up and talk and chill. Oui. And, and as a content creator myself, I know how it is to interact with people and those type of things because mm-hmm. I just always tell JD, I understand why he does Facebook. Mm-hmm. But I will continue to support him on YouTube because okay, I am yeah. a I am a YouTuber. Right. Yeah. I just go on TikTok, yes, but I am a YouTuber, and I can tell all you that I just love all your content, even oh, wow. Devon. Mm-hmm. I just wow. talk to Devon on Instagram. Devon will tell me, "Hey, Jacob, check out this." Yeah. So shout out to Devon as well because yeah. Hampton, I admire that friendship that you all have. Yeah, even man. um, Junior Lee, I would have met him last year. Yeah. <laughs> When they did the um the free comedy show mm-hmm. in Port of Spain Library, I was there videotaping because I also work in the National Library. Yeah. So I was there and it's good to see that you all give back and you all continue giving back to the community. Right. So, yeah. so from yeah. so from one content creator to the next, 
fella and JD and YP, Nessa, continue on the good night. Appreciate you. you. Same right. to you as well. Thank you so much. Hi, I should afford. Nice. Ash. And uh-huh. all here, mm-hmm. call. They, they have the line before they go reach out. Uh-huh. It, it's good to call. It's good to leave a comment below. Mm-hmm. Call out to the people, right? Mm-hmm. All right. They all enjoy your night. Yo, thank you, Jacob. buddy. Bless thank you. Thank you, right. Jacob. Blessings. And now seeing the YouTube, you know, Jacob, Jacob, um, commented right through. But... Let me, let me honor. I have my hand on this comment from Kemba. Mm-hmm. She said, listen, did Ezekiel wash grandma's teeth in the toilet last? You didn't see that one? Did you shoot so... Ezekiel's scene <laughs> last? She, she wants to know what scene was done she, last. Yeah, which one was... So, so straight off the job. <laughs> I know the idea I was going to do. The yeah. first step was getting the teeth. I didn't hear that. I didn't right? see that one. Yeah, that's when Ezekiel took, took the teeth and what and oh, I just so played your yeah, friend. So, yeah. so 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 this is the, the step for this video. Yeah. I came up with the idea first, and then I was like, right, how am I gonna put my hands in the toilet? Because I'm not gonna do this. I need, <laughs> I need to put gloves on. Ooh. But gloves will take away from it. Yeah, it will take away. Yeah, it will take away because it's a child. He you know, Ezekiel <laughs> is a child, he's just innocently doing things. So I was like, alright. This, this teeth needs to go in the toilet for the effect of the video to be what it Duh. I intend on it to be. But I shot the grandmother character first right. because I was not putting <laughs> that teeth in my mouth after it being in the toilet. <laughs> However, I cleaned the toilet right, like five, six times. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. There's clean, no clean, 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 clean. De- definitely not. Um, flush it, flush it, flush it. I use Lima Cola as the 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 color to represent you know okay yeah and then um <laughs> i did the video hey, water gone mm-hmm. so he's a to wash the teeth because you know brushing the grandmother oh, teeth trouble is this so he's can see water in the toilet and he put the all the teeth Babe. in the and washy washy Babe. <laughs> that was somebody said washy washy Babe, hold on, yeah. wait, wait, you know hold, hold put me down kick shucks man oh, water gone. Oh, oh. Oh. Daughter, yes, she no mommy i see it you probably leave it in the bathroom, check in the bathroom. Hey, hey, I'll leave it there probably. Hey, look, my teeth. What you doing in here, boy? Nothing, Granny. Why my teeth wet? What's going on here? Uh, uh, I find it tasting like vinegar. It tastes salty. What's going on here? Mommy, what on? I find my teeth tasting like vinegar. It tastes salty. Mo- mommy, I wash Granny's teeth alone. Is it killing how you can wash your grandmother's teeth and water gone? I wash it in the toilet bowl, Mommy. What? You mean to tell me you put me in the piss? Oh, oh. I'm afraid of that little boy. Is he killed? Go upstairs, you know, mommy. I'm so sorry. Go upstairs, boy. Put him in the military, man. Put him in the front line. Oh, Lord, Father, I'm afraid of that boy. Oh, boy, you put me in the piss, boy. <laughs> nah. I didn't see that till just now. Oh, gosh, what an idea. Hey, my Bang. eye went just Bang. Hey, yo, listen, no. Yo. Oh. Bro, listen. My I don't take... Oh, Lord. <laughs> she fell up. She fell up. She fell up. I fell up. But what trouble Wait, is this? Lord? My first. I don't know where I was, but my first. Hey, my teeth hurting. When I first focus on it, <laughs> I don't know where. My, it's only wrong. And every time I see what we now, I say when he cut up the tickets for the party, I say, Ooh, babe, my you, head started to hurt there. Yeah? That's when they, to, that, listen. That's that, when the building or the character started. So, right. That was the beginning. Uh, yeah. Because. That, that wasn't the beginning, but that was that was gradually taking it up a little bit, mm-hmm. right? Because I know we all know a child who just gets real trouble. I don't know any, you know. You don't know any? No. You're lucky. No, I don't know. You're any. lucky. Right. You're lucky. Is he bring in yet? Oh gosh, some corn going. So he ain't playing. He ain't playing. He Yo, ain't playing. That is crazy. All right, guys, we getting ready to go to closing talk. Yeah, yeah, but I need to say. Uh, uh, um, a sincere thank you and a, a sincere good night to 490 persons yeah. in the live tonight. We don't take you for granted. You At could have been all. doing anything else. It's a Saturday. You could have been eating salsa in the savannah. Or you, are you yeah. there and just checking us out? We still appreciate your presence. Hey. We lime in with the one and only um, certified person. Why you put certified? All right, two things. Yeah, Why then, you put certified in your name and then we're going to quick, 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 quick break and we're going to close in thoughts. Don't move. You want to stick around. Why Why certified? So at first it was verified. So, um, verified? Um, verified Samson. <laughs> okay. In the beginning. That was, I was like, oh, when I had an Instagram at, six, at 16 or something. In the, begin, the beginning. In the beginning. I yeah. got verified. <laughs> Around 16 or 17, um, it, it was verified Samson. It wasn't something good. Yeah, um, that's something good. Yeah. Verified? <laughs> Verified Thompson. That was horrible. 
And then about, yeah, the mark, about the mark, six mark. months in, I changed it to certified Samson. And mm. I just kept it. It wasn't anything special. Like, I don't have a special story for right. what the name is. Right. Yeah. Um, it just happened to be certified. And then I started making content and I just kept it. Who will win it. in a comedy battle? Mm-hmm. Junior Lee. Mm-hmm. Rudy. Mm-hmm. Major Hype. Mm-hmm. Oh, who am I missing? Oh, the new, the new guy... Uh, Kyle Mark? Kyle Mark. Yeah. Who would win in a comedy battle? So so firstly, I just want to say Junior Lee does stand up. Right. So stand up is a different art a by different. itself. Stand up is extremely difficult. Yes, yes. I have it. You yes, have it. yes. Have you never, never tried before? I've, I've, I've done it once. I've done it once. You sucked? JD just tried um, it. He just stand up and try to tell jokes. I could do a little thing. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't run in. Mm-hmm. So I did I did try it. It was it was going bad. The booyah? Nah, it wasn't the bad way. It's boo, but... Uh. It was bad where same thing you were saying as they talk so fast. Right. So a lot of the jokes. You and everyone um, talks. It was just fast. going. It was just going. And what saved me at the end, somebody t- told me something at the end and I responded. And um, um <laughs> You responded? Yeah. They tell me no, not a person in the crowd. Oh. One of the comedians. Oh, okay. Right. They told me something and I responded right then and there. Mm-hmm. And then everybody, everybody um, came together and stuff and, and laugh and that was the highlight of the night now. Okay. But um Stand-up comedy skits is two different things. I appreciate that, bit, though. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, firstly, um, I ain't gonna get a political answer. Yeah. Like I around my bro Junior Lee, and I personally think he even funnier than me. Like I never, I never even joking. And it's, it's not, it's for, for, for me, it's not really who funnier and who's the funniest. And everybody have their supporters and their following. Eh? Yeah. So me telling you this is basically. Um, me sharing my opinion on what I think. Mm-hmm. I love how you and guys just collaborating like crazy these yeah. days. And I, I feel like artists, because we artists, we need to start to collaborate a whole lot more. You can everything. only collaborate when there's no competition. Yeah, when when you're doing it for the love of it. That's right. Then they're collaborating every other week. Yeah. Like, yo, that is crazy. It's almost like no, but just to bring it back, just to bring it back. As I say, I'm not trying to get a political. Yeah answer but i've I been as true and authentic as possible you think kyle, you know kyle is real funny as well too in certain mannerisms and facial expressions that he does and the ideas that he does is very relatable rudy have his thing mm-hmm. have you seen on all right day all right day is a very insane. funny character <laughs> very very funny insane. rudy did something called marry me which was a uh, uh, a series. seasonal thing that the he was series, doing. yeah and he did that from his phone and had to edit that and put out so <laughs> it's like it's like if, if you ask him who's the best, you wouldn't get an mm-hmm. answer from me. <laughs> because I, I personally think everybody have their strengths yeah. in, in different aspects. I, I lie around Junior Lee more and you I ever, just be laughing more. You ever met uh, Major? Um, never met Major before, but, but everybody else, yeah. Never met Major. No. But Junior Lee just naturally, naturally like... I have, a, I have a picture with Junior Lee before he was doing what he was <laughs> when doing. When he had hair, when he had hair, he was young, and it, I know about that's that. when I was. Um, he stayed, he didn't hear. No, he born born. No, he was. I don't know. Um, he stayed born. He wasn't even doing what he's doing now. I, I was okay. literally. That's when I I had no hair. That's when I shaved my head. Yeah, Junior, wrong long time. Yeah. yeah. Wrong long time. So super cool guy, guys. All the comedians just really humble and dunked. Rudy is beyond Rudy. humble yes. and. Super nice, my dog. Yeah, cool. yeah. Now I mean, so yeah, man. Listen, congratulations to every single thing all you're doing. Yep. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and all right. Closing thoughts before we go, guys. It's of course. O- How is it ten o'clock? Yeah. Please? So you know, it's we ten? normally finish yeah. at nine thirty. We yeah. just went a little bit over. Yeah. Um, if you're watching, of course, we have to invite you all to. If you want to listen to Nisa and myself, we do radio Sky ninety nine point five FM every we single loaded. day. Reloaded, so just check this out quick and we coming back. Taking you through the traffic with a smile and plenty laughter. It's the gridlock with JD, Nisa, and DJ Versatile on Sky 99.5 FM Reloaded. That's right, that's where we are every single afternoon, Monday to Friday, drive time. So it'll be cool. Come through, hit us up on your WhatsApp board, say hi. All right, closing thoughts on the topic. So basically, the closing thoughts are Samson. The I would person, stay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I was stay. quick. That was I would stay. Bang. Right? Bang. In a situation you're with someone mm. um, for, for so long, mm. they leave. Mm. You're legally divorced. They leave. Mm. Find somebody else. I spent a lot of money to, to extend the house. 
that both um, her and I mm. build together. If I'm not in a position where I could leave, if I'm not in a financial position as well, where I could leave, I am not leaving mm. until I sort myself out and I'm able to go, mm. which I'm giving myself a time period of maybe three to six months, if so long, and then I'm going. Mm. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Hayden. We have 139 shares. That's Thank you. Awesome. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Let That's me just, your flowers. Let me big up Afia Clark. She says, just caught this last bit, but big up from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mm -hmm. The whole of SVG is talking about Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> Ezekiel International. You know, he didn't Jerry. even talk in Ezekiel. Let me get my closing thoughts and probably he could say goodbye as, yeah. as, as Ezekiel. We're going to do it off camera. The camera going to be on us. Why not? Because that's not he, that's oh, that's yeah, Jamel. Because that's Jamel. <laughs> okay. He could he could do Jamel. Well, he could talk to her as he can. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, could do yeah. that. Okay. He, Jamel is Mommy, there. Daddy, Granny, okay, anybody so, else want to talk to? You saw when he came downstairs with the mask, like how we used to um go out long time. When ski mask, ski mask. You, you know what? You didn't see the last. No, I didn't last see the last. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see yeah. the last. With the couple. Jamaicans, with Shelly Bell. Yeah. Hey, you know yeah. who we met? We met um Max's vibes. Yeah. And Jamel Max is yeah. real cool too. Yep. So. Touch yep. back in there. You have a little warmth emanating. <laughs> you go inside and Relax. Relax. But ah. <laughs> well, you can't hug a man. You can't me even say. <laughs> me and the girl, them bubblegum too. Me and the girl, them bubblegum. Come on. <laughs> but all who blow in and pop in your sleep. Yeah, no, no, no. Anyway. She quick with your She yeah, fires yeah. when she quick. Over quick. She wow. Like, close the thoughts, babe. My closing thoughts. Sometimes, I said it before, sometimes you have to lose to win. I understand um, Samson's point of, um, you know, at least readying yourself before you run out there and end up in more problems. Mm -hmm. However, for me, I look at my life and the amount of situations that I allow to live in my head, yeah. um, especially if, you know, it's a sticky, sticky, sticky situation. And... Um, most of us do things for everybody else and we don't do things for ourselves yeah we do things because we're concerned about what somebody else would think you know how you feel in and over you're putting everybody else's opinion in front of your feelings um i think home is supposed to be a zen i think home is supposed to be a safe space i think home is supposed to be that place where you're unburdened from the world but if your home is a reminder of what you lost to hold on to it just because you've invested, not making light of your investment. But I feel like you could end up getting sick before you get to enjoy the rest of your life. Mm. So you must have a girlfriend. You must have a family member, somebody that can help you, you know, how was it for a little bit? But once you're comfortable, make sure yeah. you know the little situations, the, 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 the space nice. But don't hold yourself hostage. Don't let pride hmm. get in the way. Um, he may be gone, but your best days may be ahead. Hmm. So I would say leave a space that reminds you of what you lost. And connect with some people that could help you get back to a place where you can at least you know stand on your own memories live on but you just have this one life to live and i think you should put yourself first okay. very nice I come out of it. Yeah. very nice bang bang all right bang. my closing thoughts bang. is um find a friend find a family go by your aunt get out one time Mm, that because, was quick. Yeah. That's quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, um, but yeah, I understand what Samson is saying. I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying, even if, you know, you give yourself some time and whatever. Mm -hmm. But someone was saying in the comment section as well, my peace, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to come home. That's not my place. Mm -hmm. First of all, that place is not my place. So if that's not my place, I could find somewhere else to go and be not my place, with, which I, I don't have to watch around the wall we paint and this and <laughs> that and the kind of thing i get not it i would ask her on mm. um probably go back by a relative go by her aunt and say your thing and just you know i i bounce in one time yeah you know what I'm saying? i can't nobody 
You're gone. You're gone. Oh, you, Some people can't disconnect like that, mm-hmm. especially being in a space for so long. But whoever could do it and they they able to bounce back, kudos to them. Fast mm-hmm. out of there, the better it is. For, for women, you know what my lesson was? Women stay. Yeah. We stay, we yeah. stay, we pray. Yep. We just read the books and we, we have so much hope. But sometimes they don't ever come back. Hmm. And uh, what that? Hmm. You know? So, yeah. so yeah, when I was left, yeah. I was like, well, what trouble is this? Hmm. But how you could, how you could leave me? I wasn't leave what? You yeah. understand? Yeah. So yeah. I, I saying, what I'm saying is, Sometimes I'm not generalizing all men, but I'm saying men are brave enough to do what they need to do. Yeah. They all they offer you, them yeah. gone their way. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> so do yourself a favor and be just as brave. <laughs> yeah. You know? Be just as brave. Just just yeah. That's all it. All right. I give myself a round of applause. But yeah. how are you pressing the wrong thing, so <laughs> we got over by half an hour I say <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to Ezekiel off camera. Right. So, um, of course, we want to say thank you so much for Certified Samson for coming through. Mm-hmm. Man, listen, sh- short interview is just inspirational. Yeah. Ooh. In- oh. Oh. <laughs> inspirational. Uh, you, 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 you talk about Certified Samson for, for long. Uh, how, how come you, well, you ain't talk to me? Well, son. I, we, I, 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 I never get off Friday week. Well, son, listen, <laughs> we, you, we, we made an arrangement with your brother to leave your home, all right, because... I can get his mic? Hey. No, you can leave that. So let me tell you what about... Oh, the hell is this? Can you don't touch bad. that. But what trouble? Oh. Look here. Babe, let's just wrap up here. Oh, yeah. Some I, can, oh, uh, uh, I can take uh, uh, this mic? I think it's a wrap. I tell you to leave this boy home. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, we need to wrap it up. Gosh. Wait, wait, wait. And you... Ma- and ma- you uh, how... And you had Ross? He touching the white, you know? I cut my Ross, all right? Which, what, which one go. is this? <laughs> I, I, I cut my uncle Ross, or no? Oh, God. But, but Ezekiel, let me ask you He wasn't question. happy. Ezekiel, <laughs> is it that because I, people... I, I never get no fry bacon, you no? Know? We will give you a fry bacon. I'll but answer me one too. question. Ezekiel, is it that you plan well, to what, do what you do, or you, you just genuine? Why, why you cut your ass? <laughs> he is not listening to you. He answered the boy. L- listen, I cut it because I felt like I had it on my hair too long. But that's not what I'm talking about. Is it that you really just plan to do these things or you genuinely just make mistakes? I, don't, care. I don't know what you're talking about. No. I'm not telling you this is how old he is. Six. You just mm. told mm. this is not an adult. Mm. Okay, guys, we're getting right to wrap I up cannot here. make my vase in the back there. Okay, oh, so this is this a just, candle? No, hey, you don't touch it. Before you have to clean up that thing with your whole mouth. Jesus Christ. Oh, Look oh, here. Oh, 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 Oh gosh! Oh, I go. pay enough. You see that? Can we just leave? That was a gift. Oh, oh, looking oh, break it. Babe, let me, let's go, guys. We get on the ready drop out of here. Thank you so much for watching another episode of JD. So, my name is JD. If that boy break, uh, listen. Let's just go and let Samson take you go, go downstairs. My my my, my car. Anyway, the nongs is for me too. I. Let's go. Guys, thanks for watching. Next week, please go. Please. God, we have another guest coming through. Hopefully, he comes through. We tried to get him about two weeks ago. We're going to do the promotion this week. All right. Thank you so much. Friday can lie. My yes, name is yes. JD. My name is Nisa, and we need Sam, to. Yeah, Samson, thank you so much Very for coming quick. through. All right. It's a blessing. Cool. Absolutely. Can you just come back quick? <laughs> just put it back again, in the back. It, good, good, good. Go to that side. No, go to that side for me, please. Buddy. All right. Yeah, you're yeah. back. Okay, cool. All right. Yo, bro, so thank you so much. Samson. You know, thank you so much for coming through. No all problem right. at all, man. I don't know how all it is put up, but, you know, we're going to keep you all in prayer. It's worth it. All right. We'll keep you all in prayer. Thank you. That, ang- that, that stress and thing do overcome. <laughs> take one. Right? So, <laughs> guys, remember, if you haven't shared, share the. Um, the live before you go, okay? Blessings, love you so much. Bye, Lisa. guys. Have a good <laughs> okay, so have some weekend. Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, we are here. The boy going on mash up the blasted lamp. Yeah, fed up, I'm fed up. I go. Jesus. Podcast, podcast. Read all about it. When it comes to podcasting, we are number one. All these podcasts ready. The big steps ready. The internet up on the internet. Welcome to the Friday, Friday, Friday.
black people like you know 